And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, yeah. That's right, everybody. It is Tuesday, Dan? I think so. Tuesday. They all run together now, everybody. It's The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Big J Okerson. That's Dan Soder over there. Hey. Putting on I, his reading glasses. I can see now. <laughs> you got on your reading glasses? Yeah. I don't feel like <laughs> squinting through the show today. Uh, Let's see. This is very exciting for me. Uh, we caught up with an old friend of mine in the Montreal Festival. Yeah. And we invited her to come in here. You can catch her in St. Louis, uh, her one-woman show at the St. Louis Funny Bone, Sunday, September 10th at 7 p.m. Uh, it's my old friend, B-Flat. B-Flat. Yeah. Let me clap for myself just no, in case y'all can hear. There's a whole arena clap. There's a whole <laughs> arena. B-Flat. 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 <laughs> That's Lou Whiskey. He makes it all. He makes like we're in an arena. That's that's DJ Lou right there. Oh, thank you. I thought he was beating on his chest. Ooh, I'm very that's very a lot exciting of noise. here. <laughs> it's uh, that's White Lou and Black Lou. Black Lou gets very excited when another black person comes oh, to the studio. Oh, I'm not really all black, so don't get too excited. Okay. Well, Neither is Black Lou. <laughs> Neither is Black Lou really. Black Lou had a very white middle school experience. Well, musically. So did I, Black Lou. Don't feel bad. All right. See, we can yeah. we're bonding over uh, crusty White Rock. Oh yeah. yeah Who would have thought that Yacht Center. Rock would bring everyone together? Me. Because I love Yacht Rock. Oh, there you go. You love, I, I'm, I'm the, yeah, I got Dan turned on the Yacht Rock this year very much. It was uh, so, last, year, like, last summer. Eight decades behind. It's got, you know, it's funny. It was, it was, <laughs> it was really. Like, like 30 decades. R- growing no, up I'm in kidding. West Philadelphia, it was weird to be into some of the goofy music I was into because, and I was in everything too. I knew like the current hip hop and all yeah. the, and all the current rock of the time, but I was into like such, so you said poor mm-hmm. Toto and goofy yacht rock and Lionel Richie music and all kinds of silly pop shit. And, uh, but I was like a goofy white kid in West Philadelphia as a black uh, woman growing up in that area. Was it weird when you, did you have to really hide that music from everybody? Well, you know, here's the funny thing. I'm actually from St. Louis and I moved here to go to graduate school at Drexel. Oh, okay. But I grew up in St. Clair, Missouri, like 80 miles outside of St. Louis. And I was the only black person at my school. My the brother. only black person? Well, my brother. He was like two grades behind me. And the two of us. So oh, he, you were the older one? You better yes. have the older brother in that situation probably to lead Not the way brother. for it. I was the one. I beat the ass. Oh, yeah? yeah. You were <laughs> the yeah, enforcer? Yeah, I beat the ass. I okay. beat his ass and anybody that jumped on him. But I grew up listening. To, my mom always dated like white men, which was all good. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. Back in the 70s, you know, she was doing the thing. So she was like setting the precedent. Mm-hmm. So... um <laughs> She's dipping into that. She was dipping. Dipping into that vanilla. You see barrel. my skin color. Yeah. So my mama was <laughs> She's dipping. Getting that white tea. And, uh, <laughs> getting so that pink kind of. <laughs> I don't know what it looked like. That yeah. ain't for me to see. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you right now, uh, it's shades of pink. <laughs> Be flat. You've never seen a white penis before. Not live. Uh, really? Right. You want to show not me one? Live. Not live. Not live. Dan, not, Dan's no. got a wall. Dan's no. got a wall. Apparently, <laughs> no. Um, yeah. Not a live one. A real one. That's so, I've seen a fake one, but not like a real one connected I, to a body. I really? always love it's like penises and music, <laughs> uh, musical acts. It's like uh, I've never seen them live. <laughs> never but I had, seen it live. Uh, I just heard about it. <laughs> I heard it. Yeah, I heard it on wax before. Yeah. Yeah. I seen white dick on wax. Yeah, right, never right. Seen it. It didn't really right. catch my ear, but I heard it's like hockey. You got to see it live. That's that's the that should be the commercial for white. That's it's like hockey. Life. See you it live. See it live. Yeah. Never seen it like live. Baseball shit. Just the internet. Uh, no, not even on the internet. I don't buy. You know what? I've never been one of them people in the porn because I feel like if I can't get it right then and there, like what? I never had no problem getting no dick, so I never had to like be all looking at it and. Yeah. Christine, never, never, like, never Christine got, watched it a bunch. I guess I've you must have a hard it. time getting dick in your life. <laughs> no, I never had that issue. I always had. I've had 937 dicks that I can count. I quit counting after a while. Wow. And that's, that's dude, a real number. 937. Well, you know what? I'm I'm gonna be conservative. I'm gonna say maybe 200. Okay. But I stopped at the number 200 because I totally forgot. And when you got to get on the phone and start calling bitches and be like, you remember that motherfucker I fucked? So wait, that you, worked no, at the electric company? Uh, and they'd be like, there's that Courtney. Electric, yes. The so when you start doing that, it's like, all right, bitch, you had 200. Stop. But so you, I'm going to say conservative. But be flat, were you really counting up till 200? I really did. Me so and my like best, dick okay, 168. See, look, I'm going to tell you <laughs> like what happened because I used to do a lot of fucking. I ain't going to lie. I had a list. I used to keep a list. Everybody who I wanted to fuck, I I scratch it off the list. I'm going to interrupt you and just because we're getting a lot of information and a lot of this is raising questions. Okay. My first question is, who is, out of all the dick, your MVP? Just give us a first name. Ah. 
who's your who is the best ain't bitch? No Six eight motherfucker no named Randall. Yeah. <laughs> I, Christian, you had a you had a list of guys you wanted to have no, sex no. with, and when I you fucked them, you crossed yeah, it off. I did. And then when I got tired of fucking, then I said to myself, yeah. "That's fantastic." When I decided I wanted to reclaim my celibacy and be get married, and this is some serious shit, I became celibate for two years. I was like, "Let me write down and try and make a list, of everybody." So this shit took me like a couple days. Yeah. I'm making a long list, like Kyle. Did you rent a cabin by a lake? No, but I called my best friend, and that bitch made a list because we both was, was trying to get our shit together. We was like, let's stop fucking and see how long it lasts. Yeah. So for me, it lasted like two my, years. I'm gonna write my dick memoir. I really decided that. I have been writing those, but I decided when I can't remember, motherfucker, somebody came up to me in Victoria's Secret and they was talking to me and shit, and I was like, I know how fucked him, but I cannot remember his name. Oh. And he talked to me for 30 minutes and it fucking pissed me off, and that's how I knew he was whack, and I was like, I can't even remember this motherfucker. But name. do you ever have, like, like oh. daydreams of past dicks, like uh, like Charles Dickens' dick? No. <laughs> no. Back, it's like, oh, my oh. husband shut all that down. I only see Dickens' stars. Okay. Dickens' stars with so my you, husband. Did you... Did you debrief your husband at some point? You're like, you're oh, the yeah, numbers. he know, he knows. Okay. Well, I didn't kind of tell him the exact numbers because I don't know. Yeah. So I couldn't lie. Did you give him a scientific estimation? Yeah, <laughs> you know, scientific some estimation. Of the, some of us believe the world is I am really going to say it's about 200. You still okay. got yeah. to be a confident uh, guy, though, still, when you, when you go, how many guys you sleep with? And she goes, I don't know exactly. And stop see, count, stop counting at 200. Goes, but then hey. when I tell people that, they be oh. like, ha, ha, you funny. You full of shit. I'm like, all right. Yeah, but I mean, you're serious. What the fuck you want to but you're dead serious. I be dead ass serious. I'm dead ass serious. He goes, ah, so what, what was that? She goes, 200. He goes, get the fuck out of here. She goes, I don't know. I lost count after that. He goes, ah. He's glad you funny. No. He goes, he goes, oh, yeah, 200 dicks. Sure, it's not the time of the day for all that. Exactly. She goes, no, seriously, that's when I stopped counting. He goes, she goes, here's the uh, short novella about those, all those dicks. She goes, this I literally is, made a list. Like goes, half the people name I didn't even, last names I couldn't remember. How many but times were names repeated? No. Don't you know, no, I mean, just like first name, like Steven, Steven, Oh, no, Steven, but I knew Steven. exactly, I know exactly that I can remember, like Steve Johnson or Steve so-and-so. Then I would put, like, what city, maybe what, what state, what country. Oh, wow, you had you a know? whole, like, right, a what? system. Christine fucked, Christine fucked some dudes that she would call them by, like, the situation. What was the guy? <laughs> Super Bowl. You should call one guy yeah. Super Bowl because she met him on Super Bowl day and fucked them. That's, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Be flat, though. I would love to put up a map of the United States that would tax go through with your dick list. And no, like, you would be better at just throwing a dart at the motherfucker wherever it lands. Yeah. You can best believe I go, Boise. I go, Boise, Idaho. Oh, no, oh. I never did it in Boise. I've okay. never been to Boise. Did you use... But, um, it's funny, a lot of... No, a lot don't of ask me a, no dumbass questions. A lot, of, <laughs> a lot of female comics... A lot of female comics go on the road and say what's kind of boring about the road for them is they don't use the road, like how a guy goes on the road and is like, oh, I'm looking for, like, mm -hmm. pussy in this city. Yeah. Did you ever go on the road and be like, I'll fuck uh, if I want to fuck after a show? No, not like that. Cause I normally been... had, I know people like everywhere I went, so it was always like a little hookup right. or something. It wasn't never nobody I just like met. Yeah, so so. Like, there no. was never a guy like you're doing a set and you look oh, up no, and see no, him no, and you're no, like, no. fuck this. Point of like, flat t -shirt. I'm coming to your town. I'll see you in my room. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was never no, oh, I met you. It was like, I already had a, a hookup when I got there. She had a whole network. Yes. Yeah, like except, a spy. Except Montana and Boise, Idaho. Oh, well, that's a lot of pink dick. <laughs> that, those are that's seas. all that's up there. Yeah, it's seas of pink dick. But I don't discriminate. Yeah. I just never... It's never happened. Know, yeah, and I, I don't think... I think my, between my voice and my looks, probably not all that attractive to a man when they first hear me. I don't know. I don't know. Most men be thinking I'm a man. What? Like, what? Yes. Jacob would break you off oh right my in the bathroom. God. <laughs> <laughs> you walked, you you walked you. in and you went, oh, God, look at this. Oh, I get it all the time. Oh, look at this queen. <laughs> I get it all the time. As soon as I open my mouth, they'd be like, are you? No. Fuck yes. And I'll be like, I'll beat your ass. Because <laughs> my nephew fucks me up. My little, and this is not a joke. My little nephew, he's four. He calls me Uncle Bev. And he's like, <laughs> in the Uncle Bev? I mean, by the way, See, that Jake's is just, laughing at me and shit. That's not funny. Yeah, but it because is funny from a four-year-old, though. Yeah, but you know what? I said, I said, little Denny. It's funny because he's named after my husband. I was like, why do you call me Uncle Bev? He's like, because you sound like my pop-pop in the morning. I was like, how your pop-pop sound? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> great.
It's not funny. So I now mean, he calls me Uncle Bev. In the we're well, listen, we're we're both in the world of deep voices. Deep voices. You gotta deal with that. I know. You know what I deal with? Sometimes when I go to like friends family occasions if there's little kids, uh little girls terrified of my voice. Why? I was at a Thanksgiving in Boston and I was like, Why is that Who is this? Out of that goes, head? Ah! <laughs> the little girl just started losing her shit. I was like Well if it isn't little Tina. Oh. Oh. Now, what the fuck is that? <laughs> with the Boston accent? Who the fuck? Oh, I think my voice turns a lot of people off. I don't know what I, I yeah. had to get used to it. I it like is a kind of rough. Voice. Yeah, you got a smoky voice. I yeah, like it. I like smoking. I, I would call it smoking. Sexy. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's what the smoky voice comes from. But like it's it, raspy. But I like it better than uh, like we were. We watched this video. of These vloggers that this smoking hot chick has a super high pitched voice. and It's disgusting. Irritating. Yeah. Oh, she's the worst. Yeah, your um, voice is great. Thank you. I like this voice. I do use it to my advantage. Yeah. Um, I'm happy you came in. We were watching uh, yesterday. We had to continue this today because oh, we were going in deep. And it we stopped even... the video every five seconds to talk about it. But Little Kim, or the shell of what was Little Kim at one point, yeah. um, the ghost of goes and sees the Hollywood medium. Do you know who the Hollywood medium? I'm sure it's somebody that does a terrible reading. Yeah. Yes. He's Flame, a little, he's a little guy. He's a little twinkle toe. And they forecasted that she would be... Uh, Talking to Biggie. She's trying to reach people on the other side. He don't even know who the fuck she is. He'd be like, who is that bitch? No, he did. She's the only person. That. We've watched multiple episodes of this. She's the only person he knew, and we didn't even know it was her. And y'all believe face. that she... Well, you All know, right, I don't know. He'd be yeah. like, who is this bitch? I believe this guy wears pantyhose under his jeans. I think you're right. <laughs> He goes, he might be right. Oh, this guy is fluffy. He goes, I know two things. Number one, these are the sleekest panties I've ever worn, and this cat looks like little Kim. Goes, I'll tell you two things I know. These control hop hoes ain't controlling shit. Yeah. <laughs> I these. always say, how you get the fishnets over the booty show? <laughs> oh, man, she looks so, so I bad. I really didn't even recognize her. She looks horrible. What did she do to herself? I don't know. Hacked these her plastic up. surgeons, they need to stop. They need to tell a motherfucker. Like, bitch, no. Sure. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care how much money you yeah. got, no. You have Just to have like, some sort of moral compass. Yes. Little yes. Kim was hot. Now she was like a melting candle. Mm-hmm. She really her so cleavage is tough. Uh, is let's go to where we were in the video. Do you remember where we were, Christine? I think we were right here. She no, looks I like think a we leftover were... act from Branson, Missouri. That shit is crazy. Yeah, cause remember he Did was... you see that jacket? Yeah. That's no, so she does. Dolly Parton is... That <laughs> does. Now, yeah. is, it the ja <laughs> is it the jacket that Rocky got when he got money in part two? Yeah. That looked like a jacket of Loretta Lynn wore in 73. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Little Kim. <laughs> she is country as Yeah, hell. it does look like it's gonna, yeah. she's going to toss her at Hee Haw. Ladies and gentlemen, Little Kim. Uh, you know, I used to say Nicki Minaj was trying to look like Little Kim like well, when she first came out her whole yeah. thing. But I can't even put that on her. They're both, trying to like, they're both trying to look like white women is what's yeah. happening with both of them. I saw Shit, she looking like Zsa Zsa Gabor. I don't know who the. She looks like a stunt double for <laughs> Daenerys <laughs> Targaryen. Zsa Zsa Zsa. Don't you put that on Daenerys? Yeah, <laughs> she don't look. She like look that. like don't she's taking the fall for the dragon queen. No, when she opens yeah, like her eyes, the bitch fell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she fell off the dragon. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like her eyes. Looks like, looks, looks like somebody is like sewing her eyes open when they're open. Like, yeah. <laughs> like they're so <sewing laughs> open. Yeah. So, so what like, is she doing with herself? Yeah, look, that's Zsa Zsa Gabor. Now look at little Kim. Doing? Little Kim got a. Uh, she see, got all. See? The two she, years from now, that's how she gonna look, and that's Zsa Zsa when she was seventy three. She got a. Uh, she got chubby, <laughs> Little Kim, and then she did the. Uh, we got to show at some point, Christine, that video of her when she came out and did the VH1 huh. hip hop honors. Mm -hmm. She did hip hop honors and came out, and she doesn't know the lyrics of her own song. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. She like falls apart. It's so bad. What is and she was my favorite. Of, she was my favorite. She was my shit. I ain't gonna lie back in the in the nineties. Yeah, I, I like two of her songs. Two songs. Two little raps she had. I I I used to fuck with Lil Kim, but then she was too ratchet. She put the R in ratchet. That's what I kind of liked about it. Yeah. Really? <laughs> that yeah. attainableness. Yeah. I yeah, it made like, you feel like you could have that. Oh yeah, like she was garbage. Yeah. yeah, like if you ate her pussy, it'd smell a little bit, and you'd be like, "What's that?" And she'd go, "I don't care." Yeah, yeah you probably you go, asparagus. <laughs> <She'd> go, <laughs> yeah. Did you have asparagus <laughs> today? She goes, "I think so." <laughs> she goes, "Is that what they bring with steak?" I don't know. Get back mm. down there. Go, Is that what they bring in steak? <laughs> They bring with steak. All right, so hit play. Oh. Next. Are you watching? Are we got the other video blog up? There we go. 
Oh, that was it where he was like, I'm getting soulmate. We saw the preview for this. Uh. So now we're back. <laughs> God, I love this show. Be showing me soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. And he's very instinct, like automatic, insistent, very, very... Ah. It's like coming through so strongly. It's like soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. 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 Right. And this, this is what I smoke smoke with This is people. going to piss off Faith Evans so, so much. <laughs> it has to piss her off so, so much. much. Soulmate, soulmate, soulmate is saying, uh, not, not stupid Faith Evans, but yeah. you, soulmate, you, soulmate. soulmate. <laughs> you are the one. He never loved Faith, and Biggie's like, ugh, I ain't even saying that shit on the other side. No, I'm saying that, yo, why's this guy, motherfucker? Uh, yo, why you have uh, this in a booty juice talk for me? Uh, first off, I would have marked him. I don't know why he lying to Kim like that. Yo, I broke it off for him. Yo, yo uh, Kim, don't listen to this pickle tickler. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, if you believe this, Buck Pilot, you are the little, you are Junior Mafia, you believe in this motherfucker. Oh, uh, oh, uh, why are you going to I got a black voice like that. Oh, my uh, God, I'm so fucking jealous. Uh, Kim, don't going? let this little dick sniffer tell you what's up. Oh, uh, yo, tell assless chaps you told the shit. Oh, uh, I ain't never said so many. Oh, my God. Oh, no. This motherfucker. Tell this demonic liar that he ain't right. She is lit up, too. I yeah, mean, she has, so many. We were saying yesterday, we were saying yesterday, everybody in her crew of friends would want to murder this guy the second they meet him. And she's like, she's like, I'm such a fan of yours. Like the dude himself. Yeah, him coming over, like he can't, he couldn't go to bed sty in 95 and walk in like, hi boys, just here to read little Kim spirits. And they'd be like, Kimberly, I am about to blow your tits off, girl, with a reading. Little thief, more about to be like, mind blown thief. Get in here. I'm reading everybody in the crew. Little thief, that's not what those tight jeans are telling me. Hello. Yeah, hello. You look like a roll of cookie dough in there. Let's get in here. I haven't been this. I haven't been this excited since I went to Liza Minnelli's house. Who's Liza Minnelli? You ask. Uh, oh, oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Who's Liza oh, Minnelli? I'm steaming up over here. You're telling me. Did that Black Rob just ask me who Liza Minnelli was? <laughs> Bone Dog doesn't know who. It is. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna tell me right now that Bone Dog doesn't know who the fuck Liza Minnelli is. I'm about to slap everyone. Machine in- Gun Zeke, you've never heard of Liza Minnelli. <laughs> Machine- hit play. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, y'all gonna have I, everybody from the LGBTQXRYZ community calling up. They never get mad at us. No. That's good. That's good. I mean, it's usually because we come from a fun place. Good. We, have, we have fun here. We do. We have a lot of fun. I'm still trying to figure out the purpose of Ms. of Lil' Kim. Oh, we're going to find out right we're now. Find out. Ah, it's like coming through so strongly. It's like soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. Oh, my God. Soulmate. soulmate. Like, wait, what do you mean, me with him? Wait, I, pause it. Now. I'm pause it. Yeah. You think Biggie's going to have something going like, like, Biggie, you can speak to Kim, but you gotta go, you got to go through this guy. It's like, I'll walk go through that guy. <laughs> he goes, now you, just, you tell him, yeah. you just say the message to him, and he no. gets in the kid. He goes, I will talk to that dude. He make me uncomfortable. <laughs> hey, that's only, uh, I can't he's the only one I can talk to. <laughs> yeah, I can get a show. Why I need a damn show? If that yeah. motherfucker can get a show, why I can't get a show? Oh, I mean that's yeah. basically what you feel the whole time. But I he read also is into that the, smoke weed. I can look at motherfuckers and tell who smoke weed. He does. <laughs> yeah, I can just be, be yeah, flat. I can tell when you last smoke. I, I will <laughs> take. <laughs> I will take all my. Money. Yeah, give me a show. You're the magic eight ball. Damn so, right. And by the way, I'll get them out the okay, studio. They off, do more than weed. Listen. Uh, the only thing is if you just smoke is that person smoked weed. Be flat. Next week we'll find out yeah. if that person smoked weed. As the marijuana medium continues. <laughs> That's right. Be flat. I the medium. The marijuana medium. As the medium. Damn right. The medium. I can touch your ass and tell if you got it or your cousin. <laughs> and then just cops come in. You go, ah, that's the twist. Like Jacob. You always get arrested. <laughs> Your aunt smokes medicinal. <laughs> that's true. That's true. My Aunt Rosemary has a bad hip. Oh, my God. Tell her I love her and I miss her I so much. I read fingertips. Uh, can I you read lips and fingertips. Tell her, <laughs> tell her to stay away from the granola chewy bars. Because I noticed your lips are black and your hands, yeah, right. your fingers are yellow. I'm getting I'm something. getting something. <laughs> getting a reading. Oh. Give me a show. Oh, yeah. I mean, I... My hands are sweaty. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that, oh my god. That makes me want to cry. I'm not gonna cry. It's okay. She okay, so cry. that jacket, it's Persian lamb and it belonged to the late great notorious BID. Is, wow. is that a Which dog or something? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I am not uh, down with that kind of techno. <laughs> but, I mean, I get boo food to a lot of shit, but I just never heard it. 
He goes, ah, oh, see what I mean? That's the guy I got to communicate with. Oh. Yo, tell me to get his dookie figures off my oh. jacket. Oh. I'm like, I'm like, baby, baby. How long y'all going to be bugging out like this? <laughs> I'm asking myself. Smoked. I'm asking myself right now. We all get the doodle figures. Oh. Well, yo, how that floating piece of paper going to tell her what I believe in? Yo, I'm be asking myself, oh. Uh, yo, why she let this feather dust in the house? Yo, can someone tell in the band played on <laughs> that I'm trying to tell Kim she's just my star piece? <laughs> He's my biggie. Wow. But that was the one thing I always said. It was soulmate. Oh. He's never been bringing up soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. And then he's coming through and he's acknowledging a very distinct apology. And it's not coming across in a negative way. He goes, I'm telling her, I'm sorry I came on your face the last time I saw you. That was mad disrespectful. I know. I said I wasn't going to finish, and then I just did. <laughs> Remember how you told me to tell you when I was going to finish? And if I he's lied. a medium, can you just tell her who killed his ass? Can you oh, so, just that's, like, so that's why we got into this, because apparently it goes Can he be like, yo, kill? Be flat. You're, the you're on the right. Me. Yeah. You're on the right path. Yeah. You're on the right path. But the medium okay. always acts stupid, so he's going to be something like this. I'm getting something like a, th- like a two or a three pack. Three, I don't know. Two, two pack? Two, two pack. Yeah. I don't know what that, does that mean we think What's you? What's the shack? What's the shakur? What's the shakur? 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 Oh, God, I'm just so confused. Also, I it's should let you know. It's Puerto Rican furniture. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't she know. Is, it's, she's, by the way, little Kim is drinking, and she's like, with such pride of like, goes, this is happening. This well, is you real. found the video oh. of Faith Evans responding, right? Didn't you find that Faith Evans was talking shit about little Kim saying that she was Biggie's soulmate? Didn't you? I mean, we could find that video maybe at the break, mm-hmm. but uh, but yeah, little Kim does have like a look right now of pride of like nailed it. <laughs> just, mm-hmm. I knew I was going to let this little poodle in my house. Yeah, <laughs> talking poodle in my home. <laughs> talking poodle. <laughs> uh, and he's referring to the fact that he serious? wants you to know he's bringing up loyalty and he's oh. bringing up commitment. And he's acknowledging an apology in some cases because he feels like you deserve more. I'm sorry that you got to listen to this little twink talk. (laughs) For real, Kim, I thought I put enough money aside that he wouldn't be doing this fucked up shit. Yeah, he (laughs) wants to know... uh, he's telling me right now he wants to know what the fuck happened to your face and hair. Yeah. Thank you. He's asking you questions about your done. stupid clothes. He goes, question number three, go to Brooklyn, get my stacks, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he goes, yeah, that's what I told that little twin. He said that he left some G's in the floorboards. Yeah. And to- <laughs> he said, go grab his Desert Eagle and take care of Juan in the South Bronx. I don't know. It just gets I wish murky. she let it go. She don't have no kids or nothing by him. I know. Why don't she fuck let it go. That's why I'm so interested. We're so interested about Faith Evans, who was his wife and has kids with him, is like, shut up, lady. So many, and didn't so Faith so think so she so had me. a baby by Tupac? Yeah, what's that? Didn't Faith think she was pregnant by Tupac? Well, that was just... They always said she fucked Tupac. And then, and then, said, and then, and then Biggie she had that great, pregnant. Well, then Biggie had that great line. That might was, that might have been the black person. The swore <laughs> fucked you. That's why I fucked your, that's why I fucked your bitch, you probably, ass, motherfucker. Well, he says he has that line in Brooklyn Finest where he goes, Faith will probably have twins. She'll have two pox. Get it? And so he referenced it on, oh, really? on the verse on Jay Z's Reasonable Doubt. Oh shit! That's the the white. That's the most hip hop reference from the whitest guy you'll oh, ever get. I'm wearing a really boo boo fat shirt, <laughs> and I just went with deep. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, have faith in him, kind of like an NFL draft person. You know, you just hope that they make it. And who? Anybody ugly that's about to get some money. Yeah. Because I have no clue as to why Lil Kim or Faith would even think about fucking. Well, Lil Kim was trying to get out of Bed Stuy, and Faith. Just, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They saw something in him. They yeah. had to because nobody else did. Oh, yeah. He had like, he had like, he had like arts and crafts googly eyes. When you put the googly eyes on you put the guy and he's like, and he yeah. shake the paper around. He's like, oh, 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 he's like yeah. he goes, I can't see any direction. God, I don't know so what's going ugly. on. The state of New York prevented me from getting a driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> they said it was too dangerous. He goes, I got what the doctor called two floating eyeballs. They, they said uh, one of them might fall off if the glue don't hold. 
Uh, also, what's great about this is his apology. He's like, I'm getting an apology. He says, I'm sorry for almost crushing you. Goes, yeah, that one was real. She's only five foot two. He it was like I was having you, sex with a poodle. He said, I should have let you be on top or yeah. something like that. He says, he busted your rib. Sorry, oh my, he, I'm sorry he blew your, your back, back out. out. Yeah. <laughs> I am so sorry. He, I'm sorry for blowing your back out. He says, sorry for sweating on your satin sheets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, they don't no. look like they fucked on sheets. Oh, they no. ghetto. They yeah. probably just went straight on the mattress. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they fucked on area yeah. rugs. <laughs> right. Yeah. They don't I look like they was doing it on sheets. I can't be keeping my laundry bill this high. <laughs> take the finished sheet off. <laughs> take the finished sheet off. Yeah. We're just going to soak this mattress. Uh-huh. <laughs> the fact that he's sorry. It's the number one thing that he could convey. Is I'm sorry, and the feeling that comes through for him is the the issues that caused arguments, confrontation, any fighting is like at the end of the day they weren't that big of a deal. So why did I waste this time arguing about <laughs> yes. silly stuff? And he talks yes. about it's stubborn and petty, and it's like the feeling is like no, why didn't I put love first? Oh. Oh my, oh my goodness. Like, you how are could you be getting, shit? How could you be getting that from the ether? It's like so specific. He goes, I'm seeing through the fog. Uh, how about... He doesn't want you... It's like a very specific thing then. He goes, he's saying like... Uh, the Mickey already are told all- her that shit before he kicked her to the curb. But, you know, right. But, he's but not why, but why is it so foggy? He's saying, it's like foggy and specific. He's like, I'm getting something like the <sighs> fights are always... Like he's going, he goes, Cause the he's fights like, are always petty. Yeah. It ain't worth it. I don't know why we was fighting. That, by the way, if, so, if you've listened to Biggie, you know that's how he talks. Where he goes, <laughs> I just want to be direct. I want to let you know, face first. I made a lot of mistakes. Ugh. But I'm learning up here. I know it was the reason why I never heard of this show. Like, why? Mm-hmm. I got my oh, jeans. I was thinking about our show. I was like, wow, no, there's I'm a lot of reasons. Fuck no. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about that. Oh, this, 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 he's a total liar. I mean, this oh is a clear, cliche. By the way, he's just saying things that she wants. And by to the hear. way, he's like 17. Yeah. I, mean, I, I got my GED in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning skills. I don't think so. I think he got it at a University of Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they got every damn thing. Yeah. Come to Phoenix College. Phoenix University Online. I'm majoring in meeting a big contact the dead. That's right. They marry you in. I major in meeting a big. Yeah. Uh, I graduated the And a minor in poli sci. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) In court or what's the court affairs? (laughs) Stenographer and a major (laughs) criminal justice. (laughs) Medium work. (laughs) And a major in mediuming. Mediuming. Do you want to learn how to contact the dead? <laughs> or would you like to run a small business? <laughs> it's all here. Lincoln Tech University. Bring back the dead. Talk to the dead. Heating and cooling. <laughs> <laughs> Heating and cooling. <laughs> Truck driving. Cable, in, cable installation. <laughs> yeah, cabinet repair. <laughs> uh, let's, Sounds Jamaican. <laughs> yeah. Let's take, our, job. let's take our first break, and we'll be back with B-Flat hanging out for the first hour. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Got buffoons eating my pussy while they watch cartoons. Yeah. Uh, Mike Frick yeah, used to have that great joke away. about that. About, like, like when you sing Little Kim lyrics, don't think about it in the club. Yeah. Mike Frick used to have that thing around. He goes, I used to be scared of the dick. Now I throw lips at the shit. And they go, Mike, what did you say? And he goes, what happened, man? I don't know what I say. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, he goes, what did I say? Yeah. He goes, what happened, man? What did I say? What did I admit? What did I say? That's great. It's a bonfire. He's just jump in with it. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Ergerson. Joining us on the show from uh, Jay's past and current. Uh, we met her at Montreal just for a while. I met her at Wait Montreal minute, Jay, just for a while. I didn't do it to you, did I? What? Because he said from Jay's past. Shit, it made me think. Did we have sex? I'm 201. Yeah. <laughs> That's B flat. You can get tickets to her uh, one-woman show September 10th in, at the St. Louis Funny, Funny Bone, Bone on St. Louis at the uh, stlouisfunnybone.com. Uh, we started the Laugh House, but I never, ever got laid out of the Laugh House ever once. Ever, not once. Not once. I brought girls there before that I ended up hooking up with, but like, I never brought, the only girls who ever wanted me there was like enormous black women. Okay. Enormous. And I felt bad that I was not interested, but I was not interested. Yeah. That but, doesn't uh, mean anything. But they were coming. Everybody had a prejudice, you yeah, know, but you they might were not coming, like big girls. Yeah, they were coming like, yeah. coming fast. I, 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 not fast. I've done plenty of big girls, but uh, these particularly were just like, it wasn't a good scene. Probably scene. bad weaves, long nails. 
Yeah, it was all fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you need a bad weave and a long nail. Yeah. <laughs> it was like titties that came over the belt line of the pants. Type oh, of yeah. Them yeah. sit on the table titties, order a drink. Yeah, like Mama Mabel from What's Happening. Yeah. Those. Yeah. Like when she hugs you, she just makes you feel safe yeah. and not so much like you want to fuck. You're like, oh, God. I That's the so titties where you hug and your fingertips only reach the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Like, hey. It would have been a lot. And I do not have enough dick to get through all I would have needed to get through mm. to hit anything. There would have been a what happened. At least you know your limitations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. You got to pick your right fights. I don't want to try. Right. I don't want to dive into those powdered up thighs. Yeah. <laughs> Just get in there. I wish I had some powdered up thighs. You know, everybody getting that money from that class action suit. Anybody use baby powder? That's right. Or talcum powder back in the day. Wait, what? Right. It's all black women. Johnson and Johnson. And it's not funny. <laughs> Wait, you know what? Ninety percent of the people that's in that lawsuit are black women. Is it really? Yes, because you know, it's a black thing. Back in the day. Parents were always like, oh, put some powder, put some powder. Like, why do you powder put- on my Gucci? Wait. When you're seven. You, only, you ain't supposed to have no coochie juice yeah. when you're seven. You but you got powder in your drawers. Walking around all wet. I'm going to go, go powder, powder my powder daughter's pussy real quick. Powder on the underwear. When I was a little kid, my mom would pull my drawers right in front, put some baby powder, and I'd go home to school. So here's and now everybody article. growing up with fucking cancer. Just, just, a pi- a just, a pile, just a pile of baby powder in your in panties? Your yeah, keep your coochie dry. <laughs> right. uh, I think you have a, I think you have a teener of, I think you have a teener of cocaine. Yeah. I, mean, I can't get a word out. Yeah. Fuck yeah. All right. All right, here's a part of that lawsuit. New York Times article uh, saying that there's a $417 million award uh, in a suit tying Johnson's baby powder to cancer. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. You didn't know yeah. that. You didn't know that? Yes. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I saw a that. Big lo- and it's on TV every day. If you already want you know, as you talking about her in 1972 to 1973, please, well, I know. Yeah, <laughs> they really do, yeah. They hit you with that long class action. Are you a powder suit. guy? No, I used to do, uh, I didn't, I know when I was a waiter, I told you I took, uh, <laughs> what was it, cornstarch and put it in my butt so I didn't get, <laughs> so I didn't get chafed. Well, that, you know, around. they do that for babies, so that yeah. makes sense. It's good, but I take just a handful of cornstarch and put it in so my butt. So that means you was working hard as a waiter. Your booty cheeks was rubbing yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. It was Damn, bad. Was a <laughs> but it was outside. It was hot. I was on the cafe. So I was running around. I, oh, I aquaphor my asshole. That's my move. That's odd. Oh. Yeah. No, it's good. It's my move. gold bond spray now. I have gold bond spray, but I still aqua for my asshole. Is that asshole. one so of those get, 40-something moves? I don't know, but do you know when you... Aqua for my asshole? No. Yeah. The thing is, I'm obsessive compulsive about wiping right. uh, after the bathroom. So I go hard at it. And like oh. so it can get ear to, it can get like sore. So I aquaphor, which is like a healing Vaseline, it's, basically. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. Yeah, I don't want you to have to But do now that, that you have a yeah. spray, does Christine know when you're spraying your asshole when she walks by? That's her like, gift. Because <laughs> 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 she's spraying. <laughs> oh, I hate when she's in the room. When I get out of the shower and she's in the room, I hate every bit of it. Oh. I hate it. Because there's nothing oh. sexy about a dude getting out of the shower to dress, at least in my situation. Because it really is like I... I'm so worried about so much stuff that I'm like, I, what could you I, I, tenacted, be I tenacted and spray my feet yeah. so you don't ever get athlete's foot. I put my socks on, and then I put uh, then I spray gold bond uh, right next to my balls and ass so crack, and then I put my underwear on. It's just like a whole process. I take so, it that you guys don't take a shit together in the bathroom. We don't what? Like, take a shit. In the bathroom together. In front of like, each other? Yeah. Oh, no. Am I the only fucking person in the world that does I'll do that? I'll do it. I don't care. Yeah, I'm the same. No, I'm you not... wouldn't. I do you that You shit every with your chick morning. in the bathroom? Yeah. Yes. I've done it before. Have you shit with girls in the bathroom? Yeah. I do it every morning. You? Me and my husband, we do it together. Yeah. As a matter of fact, sometimes I'm... he don't flush. I just get up and what? shit that on the top of the shit that he shit it on. No way that's Fuck true. Yeah. That, I've never done a double. Hold on. I hold on. I've never done a. Hold on. I've never done a double. Hold on, be flat. I've, I've never sitting right on the tub. I've never done a double stack joint. like that. And then when he say, I'll be like, "Bug, you almost done." And I'd be like, "Don't flush. That's wasting water. Shit, we trying to save the environment." And he get up, he wipe, I get my ass right. He be like, "I got it nice and warm for you." And the toilet seat be warm. I sit right on top. You guys of do seat. a mashup. Yep, mash it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You guys do a I little... do that. Lou, this is, that, is daily. That, Lou, is that black shit? No. <laughs> this is daily. We love being well, guys, around each other. We guys, cannot. You want to make a sandcastle? <laughs> <laughs> I love being. I love that my husband is always in the bathroom when I take a shit, and I, uh, in the morning when he takes a shit, that's our time together. Is taking shits? But this morning I told him to get out because I was trying to concentrate and shit. He never seen me when I'm trying to concentrate. I made a girl shit. leave the bathroom one time because I was taking a shit and it was painful. I was like, get out of here. Concentrate. I was like, let me, uh, I got to finish this up. Hold on. Exactly. He's coming out sideways, babe. Yeah. You with current girlfriend? Okay. Uh, no. Previous girlfriends. Really? Yeah. 
How I quick? I pee door. with the door open. I don't Your care. last two girlfriends, I, I can't yeah. imagine being okay with you shitting in front of them. It was the hot actress. It was the one that I told to leave the room because I was taking a dump. It was at my mom's house. You know, I thought all couples did that. I never. I would never. I don't think it's that Even shocking. If you're in married and you're fi- is your fiance yeah. like, like what if you're in the shower and your girlfriend comes in and takes a shit? Yeah, I've done that. I've had that. No, your I've chick came into the shit while you're no. in the shower. Uh, I've never really? seen her shit, but I've shit oh. in the shower. What's wrong? With I'm gonna you? tell y'all some nasty shit. <laughs> Please, I don't know, but because you see, I got these long nails, and like sometimes I don't like to wipe from the back because I'd be scratching my ass coming up. So makes sense. You know, I did it from the front. And I had doo-doo on my shirt, and I didn't even know, and I walked oh, yeah. to Dunkin' Donuts, and I kept saying, something stink! <laughs> what is this funky shit? <laughs> right? I walked all the way to Dunkin' Donuts with doo-doo on the front of my shirt. I'm standing in line thinking, like, somebody smell like shit. That's, and That's for you. me walking. Yeah, and I wiped from the front, and I didn't know that it came up on my shirt. That's so, so then when I got home, my husband was like, you smell like shit. Now, this is like three hours later. I still had a doo-doo shirt on. It was my running shirt. And then I looked down, and I was like, oh, I thought it was like coffee stain, but it was shit. That's so funny. I'm more impressed. I, I got to stop wiping from I like, the front. I think like you wipe from the front and drag it all the way up to yeah. like your chest. You know, if I'm going to go front, <laughs> no, I'm going to do it. Look, epic. look at this shirt. Yeah. Uh, here comes a lawnmower <laughs> pole. Yeah, because <laughs> <that sad>? ripcord. <laughs> Slap. <laughs> and see, I can't do it from the back because I can't see back there. Then I'd have shit up the back of my ass. That's true, I guess. I didn't know it. So at least I could see it in the front. I thought okay. I could. Well, yeah, but then you walk into Duncan smell like poop. I know, and I'm like, it's still do. Somebody stink. And it was Start blaming other people in the place. Yeah. Somebody in this mall the fucker smells hey. like shit. Hey, he's got a big shit stain yeah. on your chest. Yeah, I don't know who the loser is with the open butthole, but someone needs to close their vent. And the sad thing is, it was a little, it wasn't even the size of a nickel, so that goes to show you how strong the shit was. I was smelling it all day. I can't, I couldn't possibly. I, I didn't even notice that it was on my shirt. I've seen my ex-girlfriend poop. She's pooped in the room with me before. I, I was brushing my teeth. That? Well, she was peeing. I don't know if she was peeing or pooping. We didn't really discuss it. That's yeah. a big difference, though. Christine's difference. peed in front of me a thousand times. I think she's peed on me in the shower. Hey. Yeah, okay. for sure. <laughs> but absolutely, I've never watched her rip a shit. Just looking at me and like while I'm talking to her, like a vein coming down her eye. I don't even like, like if I fart in front of Jay, it's because I think it's going to not make a sound and hopefully not smell. Like I don't, I do still dog don't like fart? farting in front of Jay. But do you dog and fart around him? Been like, together. like years. years. And it's. Yeah, really? it's smelly. It's poo. But like, it's, I don't like oh, it. God. If she, uh, like, I want to, like, I want to be, from me, like, give her, a little give her sexy. Thugs on the leg. <laughs> do you have to close the door? Do you leave the door open and, like, talk to him? Now I write, he's like, you pee a lot. I'm like, I'm farting in the bathroom. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I like, I like Christine farts like a golden retriever. She's just sitting there like, <laughs> yeah. And you go, that one's going to stink. I'll ask her if she's taking a shit sometimes. She goes, Yes, just get away. Like, she doesn't want me anywhere near, which I'm fine with. I don't want to be near it. I've had conversations oh, before, wow. though, where I'm like, where do you want to go get dinner? You want to go get dinner? I would feel <laughs> if my husband didn't come in. Because he would make me feel like he thinks that I'll stink or something. She's yeah. done that. She does stink. <laughs> when, when Christine shits, it You're stinks. You're supposed to Hard. stink. I know, but I don't want to smell it. No. And, uh, yeah, she really, yeah, it's a thing. But if you're in the bathroom with it, you don't smell them. You don't smell it. It's just like being in there. You don't smell your own shit when you're shitting. There's no way that's true. No, Jay, it is true. I'm trying to tell you I don't smell my husband shitting when he's in there because I'm in there with him. Yeah, you now, if I walked in, I'd be like, ooh, it's stinking, this bitch. But since I'm already in there. You're like, that's the smell of the room. room. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's like room tone. It's like, we just got guys, guys we got to exactly. get room tone. We got to take room tone. Hold exactly. on. <laughs> get room tone. Now, you want to hear the funniest thing? My husband and I, we both have OCD, but in a strange kind of way. Like, he, I love to clean up, but I hate to wash. Like, I hate to wash up. So the other day, he's like, if I was in Miami a week, how long would it take you to get in the shower? I'd be like, you know how I wouldn't take a shower the whole week? You wouldn't be here. Really? <laughs> Fuck yeah. And he's like, oh, this, like, we have this battle every day about lotion or me washing or so he's got my a, teeth. Wait, or, but does he have to, like, politic with you to get you in the shower like the way yes. of a little kid? He go, has to text me and be ball. like, Juicy, did you take a shower yet? I'd be like, I got it on the list. Be flat. You're so together, though. It I strikes know, me that strike, and the people so that know me, like my neighbors, they'd be like, my one neighbor, he'd never seen me with makeup on or my hair comb ever. 
Yeah. Because I never do this shit until I have to go to a show or go somewhere. Yeah. So one day I jumped out of the uh, Uber and he was whistling and shit. I said, Mr. Duke. He was like, oh, Miss Beverly, I didn't even know that was you. I never seen you with your hair combed. <laughs> 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 That's the makeup on. I was like, I just came home from the it, show, Mr. Duke. It's usually the opposite. Usually women outside of the house are like, I'm sorry, I don't have any makeup on. I had to go oh, to the store. Oh, no, I never wear makeup. I never comb my hair. Like, I never brush my teeth for, like, if I don't have to. Yeah. So, like, we argue and, like, and it's fucked up because he'll be like, did you take a shower today? I'm like, I ain't going nowhere. What do I need? To, I ain't doing shit to make me sweat. Do you know what this I'm is? I'm like, I am so not. Do you know what you got reminded of? This I got reminded of? What? Me and you be flat at a college a long time ago. I had mm-hmm. to pick something up from you, mm-hmm. from your house. And you gave me the address to your house. And I swear you came to the door. And I looked a hot just, motherfucking mess. She goes, I swear to you, I, just, I, I don't know if I've ever admitted this to you. This is so funny. I go, she hits the door. I go, is B-flat here? She goes, Jay, fuck you. And then I realize, I go, oh, that is B. I go, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. And, I, and she, goes, she, goes, she goes, Jay, fuck you. But she acted like, she was like saying, Jay, fuck you. Like, you know it's me. Like, that's the joke. And yeah. I was like, I wasn't joking. I had no uh, idea. I that totally was... never, ever. 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 All right, well. So until I smell myself, then I'd be like, okay, fuck it. It's three days. Really? I'm going to take a shower. Yes. That's pretty. I freak out. You know what it is? I'm fat, so I definitely well, always you know, want to be. I, I want to like be clean. In the house. I work from home. I get up. I drink coffee. I smoke weed. And then maybe like one o'clock, I'd be like, "All right, I might brush my teeth." Then I'd be like, "Fuck it, I'm still working." So then, like four o'clock, I'll cook dinner. And I and funny thing is, I cook for my husband. I probably won't even eat because I'm vegan. So I'll fix him some shit. Then I just won't do shit, and then I'll go to bed. I heard and then vegan. The next day, I heard yeah. vegan dumps are stinky. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, vegan shits are the worst. So you should probably... You they probably, black as his nail. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you identified it in that dunk and you go, but, someone's yeah, uh, stinking like, and we definitely don't need meat. Because he brushes his teeth at night. I'm like, why are you fucking brushing your teeth at night? You wasting toothpaste. Your breath is going to stink in the morning. I'm like, save the fucking toothpaste. I'm like, you're going to get up and brush him again? That's my, that is my one, that's my one have to make myself do that more often than I do. Do I brush before you bed? Yeah. Yeah. I'm real big. At nighttime, especially by the time I get, go to bed, I'm so exhausted. I'm like been in the living or whatever it is we're doing. Yeah. I'm just like, I, that moment where you're like, all right, I fuck it. I gotta go to bed. I'm, I'm crashing. And the the thought of like brushing my teeth now is like, fuck that, dude. I'm way asleep. The my bathroom. My morning. My bathroom's on the way. To my bedroom, and I'm like, fuck that shit. And I'm then my girlfriend will go, and, I know, but then my girlfriend will go and brush her teeth, and I'm like, show off. See, do, <laughs> Does that make I'm you do him. it then? No. I only do shit if my husband does it. Like, if he's cleaning his ears with q tips, I'm like, oh shit, let me clean my ears. No, 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 she'll come I'm in, like, and I'll be like, nah. Shit. I just unapologetically, like, yeah. Oh, she does it in front of you, it looks at you the whole time, like, this is easy to do, right? You're like, I know I could be doing it right now too, but. You know what uh-huh. I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go lay in my bed exactly. and look at Bleacher Report. Because, you know what? Before I fall asleep, I'm gonna put a Snickers Fun Size in my yeah. mouth. Really, <laughs> let, it, let it marinate overnight. <laughs> I'm gonna take to. a bite of mint chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I love being at home and just being funky. I have Funky Fridays. Yeah. Funky Saturdays. Oh yeah. wow. Sometimes when Jay's on the road, I like won't shower for a day. And That's I'm like, oh, right. look at that. Full day. Uh, full yeah, day. full day. <laughs> I like Christine Dry goes. Day. Look at that. <laughs> Garbage. Yeah, I can go three full days. I've been on workout clothes and like go run errands and I come home and I'm just like, I may as well just take one in the morning. Yeah. What if you exercise? Well, then I shower. Yeah. Well, I don't, shit. Yeah. If you look at my post, I run like four miles every other day. And, and still I, don't shower? When I get up, shit, I go lay right down. I'd be right on top of the comforter with my funky sweaty clothes on. Then I get up and take a shower. <laughs> When I get done running, I'll be exhausted, and I will lay on the couch. But you know what's so funny about it? Because our house is, like, immaculate. When I do shit like that, then I feel obligated to, like, totally clean up. But I still won't take a shower. Like, I'll wash the comforter, change the sheets, and do all the other shit around it. And then I'll be like, all right, well, at least the bed is clean. And then you won't take a shower. <laughs> and I won't get in the shower until I wow. feel like it. That's love. Ain't that is. I was a weirdo love kid. Me, like, I wouldn't shower for, like, a week as a kid, but I started shaving my legs in second grade. And so I would bring a bucket you, out. You are definitely Armenian. And I would shave oh, yeah. my legs in front of yes. the television and still not take a shower. <laughs> I, I love <laughs> didn't shave her back until seventh grade. <laughs> yeah, she goes, I developed slowly. I wasn't shaving my, my back. My manager shaves her arms. It fucks me up. She's Persian. She... Uh, yeah, I have to shave my arms. Otherwise, it's out a mess. Here? Really? Out here on yeah. the outside. Can we get you to it go more up. than a month without <laughs> shaving your arms? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I can't deal with that shit. Oh, my manager, she has it because she has Bring a Bring my Wookiee girlfriend. <laughs> If you didn't get your eyebrows arched, would you have the unibrow? Oh, no. no. I had to go to, like, an emergency threading session on Sunday because I, like, oh. looked in the mirror and I was like, I have a full blown mustache. <laughs> <laughs> we got linked up. We Velcroed up when I kissed her. Yeah. <laughs> we go. 
Let's try before uh, I know before B flat has to go. She has a show tonight. She has to yeah. get to a Gotham. Let's let's try to get through. Speaking of love, let's try to get through a little more of this little kid Kim. here. We got like a, a few more minutes here. I really can't believe this is the topic of conversation. There were times when mess. I did feel like <laughs> poor thing. He treated me unfairly, but I was so massively in love with this man, yeah. and um. I just want you to know when he comes through, he acknowledges having that love. No, that love is stronger. Lying <laughs> ass motherfucker. I ain't never said that once. <laughs> Did he just meet Faith um, Evans first? Like, what they, cause wasn't it all like the same time period? No, he, little Kim's from his neighborhood. And so you met Faith Evans after, yeah, and still married her over little Kim? Yeah, cause I mean, there's, there's the skit on Ready to Die where he's fucking little Kim. And then she was in Junior Mafia. And like Sypha, when Sypha was on the show, he said that they all lived near like, you know, Biggie's house in Jersey and then they had the hotel next to it. So they like, that was before Faith. That was like after the first record. Yeah, Faith was like, the, Faith was like an introduction through Bad Boy. And yeah, like P. Shit. Diddy signed Faith to Bad Boy and that's, they, they met at a, uh, like a, uh, photo sh- session for like the whole record label. So Queen Bitch just wasn't marriage material? No, so, no. so that's why this guy gotta keep fucking with my shit. <laughs> and she still ain't marriage material. Is she married now? He goes, I, I hope not. I, I know hope, she got a baby, but. I hope it's to a bigger cut. <laughs> no, I saw that cat. She got the baby, but he's whack. Yeah. Yo, Kim, don't listen to this booty sniffer. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, tapioca pudding full of shit. Oh, oh, we die together, lie together, and this motherfucker's lying to you. Dude, it's killing me. Mark. He's so gay. He, goes, yeah. he just keeps saying he wishes you guys had a big wedding. Just, it's more, little Kim is actually doing a shitty thing to the memory of of uh, Biggie by having it be like this guy's the fucking conduit for the yeah. whole thing he goes, he goes he's saying that he thinks you're fabulous yeah. <laughs> like is that really is that really, right you. he's got yeah. one message he wants you to know that you are the shit he and also, you are fierce girl and he also said he feels bad that he was so mean to all his enemies <laughs> yeah <he> goes, <laughs> this is a direct quote <laughs> sorry for being such a bitch and such a Debbie Downer oh my god sorry. <laughs> direct quote <laughs> I was such a little nasty girl that I saw crack in the streets the bed die. <laughs> you know what? And I don't even like the movie King of New York with Christopher Walken. <laughs> I don't even like it. I don't even get the reference. The whole thing's stupid. Direct stupid. quote, by the way. Direct, Direct quote. quote. Bye, Biggie. He goes, all of a sudden, all of a sudden. Yo, why does this motherfucker always be lying about me? <laughs> I've been ignoring you for a minute now. Uh, I swear to God, I'm about to possess him and make himself blow his brains out. Uh, uh, joining us... Everybody, it's very exciting. Uh, we're all doubled up. You can lower that down if you want, buddy. I know it seems a little there. Yeah, Jared Freed. Jared Freed in the house, everybody. Hey, Jared. Jared B flat. B flat. Jared B flat. What's happening? How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely, dude. Yeah, we're gonna have you here for the uh, for the next hour. You came in the middle of we're watching the Hollywood Medium uh, with a little channel. I, I watched. I watched the beginning. Uh, I like that E has like an E looking game. Guy, yeah, he's very evil. He look, you, know, <laughs> you know, like he had, like there's somewhere there's a straight white dude at home being like, you can't even get in. He goes, you know, like, I can mad. contact the dead, <laughs> yeah. and I can't get the job. He's angry, <laughs> chopping wood. She's doing masculine shit. He goes, I don't know. He goes, I got this gift I want to share with the world, but nobody seems to want it. I tried to tell him I got struck by lightning when I was ten years old, and I could see the dead ever since, and I could talk to celebrities. Hell, that's the only ones that come to me. Just, they, go, they go, hey, Tyler, can you talk to the dead? He goes, I can say I can. He goes, he goes I don't know. You're going to need to give me at least three shots of B12 because I'm on enough ecstasy to kill a horse. He goes, so, I'll tell you what I can do. Sweat. Who has the heat up in this motherfucker? Uh, and he, wa- he walked in. He was like, are you little Kim? Yeah. Like, he was so excited. He, he was so excited. And he's, by the way, that's the only celebrity he's ever guessed. Oh, Everyone really? else, he's like, I don't know. Who he said with are. Corey Feldman, didn't know Corey Feldman was, and didn't know who Corey Haim was. Isn't that well, the job? Be a medium and not know who yeah. they are. <laughs> yeah, he knew who they shit. are before they got there. And or he should. He's supposed to, but they, they make <laughs> right. they set it up as if like he doesn't know. They just send him to a house. And he, he goes, does the oh, I'm just going to do my spooky tricks on you. <laughs> <laughs> this got me kicked getting? out of my house when I was 15. Well, Your name again is Sidney Portier. I don't know. You are President Barack Obama. Okay, Robert. 
De Niro? I, 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 he I, does kind of level them <laughs> as he looks singer? at them. <laughs> yeah, he gives gay yeah, gays. Yeah, he goes, yeah. you're not shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> move, move. I'm going to the couch. It's Gaga or nobody. <laughs> <Yeah>. What's <laughs> ever happening here, he is thrilled about it by yeah. this pause yeah. screen right here. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just keep thinking of that, that straight dude can't break in. Yeah. <laughs> just mad at the system. <laughs> just like, man, I can't get through. They put a black eye on CMT, their medium show. <laughs> like, goes, fuck this goes, shit. And I have, I am the dude. Definitive medium. Yeah. yeah. In the eighties, you didn't have to deal with this shit. I've been, off working, talent. I've been working the road <laughs> yeah. long enough, talking to dead people this, in small towns. Do you think they need uh, like to let the Kardashians pick every person for this channel? <laughs> they go, oh my god, this great well, little barista down at my Starbucks says he could talk to the dead. You want to give him a show? Seacrest is the man behind yes. the curtain on this channel. Oh, sure. It's oh, Ryan Seacrest production. Everything. Yep. He runs that show. Does channel. he do this? Does he produce this? He might. So. I mean, he produces like literally 90% of their shows. You think this guy's know. actually made from a Ryan Seacrest turd? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ryan Seacrest goes, get it out. Oh get it my out. God. Oh, this he, one could talk to the dead. Like, oh, yeah, price chips on my lips. This one's coming in big. Yeah. <laughs> this one's got gifts. Oh, this one's going to have gifts. He does look like the Ninja Turtle. Like if there was different brands of Ninja Turtle, this is the gay Seacrest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, he really is. <laughs> This guy, I, I mean, Ryan like, Seacrest was gay. No, <laughs> apparently, like a, like a, like a, like oh. a known woman, like a known ladies' man. What? Like used to crush. Do you read that? Pussy. You I've cru- heard that. Now you, before you were married, crushed a lot of dick. Right. Do you get that feeling, feeling at all? Uh, Ryan Seacrest this, to take a run at you. This is the gay medium. No, not at all. Yeah. Mm-mm. Not at all. Maybe She's at a, you. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know. You can take a run at you. I kind of put it out there. <laughs> you know, it's out there. Dan, you make yourself available for Seacrest at all times. This I, is reading I, glasses, Dan. Yeah, I go, oh, hey. <laughs> What's that? I'm just studying. There's no way this kid has... I mean, I don't believe much of this stuff anyway, but I mean, this... I really don't believe... This yes. is ridiculous. God, it is. Christine, that guy, even lay it there. Life, but he understands that love really? to a deeper extent. And I no. Want that. Oh, that is so amazing. Ooh, yeah, because let me tell you, I always wanted to know deep in my heart if he really, you know, meant a lot of the things he said, a lot of the things he did to me. He wants you to know at the end of the day, he's like, you're special. He's calling you his girl. I don't know this is, like, my girl. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he goes, no, I, I never talk like this. <laughs> he goes, I've really suffered that. <laughs> I've really suffered that in the know. afterlife. <laughs> yeah. Do you think I got soft? I got shot. <laughs> that made me angry. Oh. He goes, I'll think this bigger fish to fry the car and tell little Kim that, I, that I'm happy for he her. Goes, yeah. First off, I want to let my mom for let her know I'm okay. But also, I'll be fucking Marilyn Monroe up here. <laughs> I'll be getting all them white bitches up here. You assume he up there. Yeah. I mean, particularly, <laughs> particularly Biggie Smalls, would first question would be, what the fuck? I would believe this if he goes, he's very concerned about your face. He says you look different or yeah. something. Yeah. He's very he goes, that ain't Kim. Yeah. Kim died. To me, Kim died on the surgery table. He goes, when you busted a face open like an exit on an airplane. So who's this cat lady? Yeah. Yo. She's doing that. more than face work. She got li- her skin is lighter. Yeah. He goes, is spray she doing the Michael Jackson? Spray that thing with a water bottle. What's the, what's the cream? The couch. What's the cream we looked into? Madnola. Hydroquinone. Oh, hi. Hyd- Hydroquinone? Yeah, hydroquinone. It's the skin bleaching agent. It's what Michael oh. Jackson used. He was he had, like, Man, Vinil- oh, Jared Free. Jared Free was black as the night itself yeah. in 1997. <laughs> <laughs> he's from he's from the country Chad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good stuff. How great of you, Jared. Walker, he goes, I, used, I know I look like I play lacrosse, <laughs> but I am a long distance runner. <laughs> That is the biggest trick I moved about to you. He moved to New York just to be part of the marathon. Yeah, yeah. I moved here to do a long distance running. <laughs> and I bleached myself so white. I, Perfect credit. I'm Sammy Sosa's best friend. Yeah, you got Sammy Sosa. Sammy got me into it. You know, Dude, it's crazy. You do, you do look like bleached Sosa. <laughs> bleached Sosa. Bring up Sammy Sosa. You can't Sosa. pause a picture of this guy the- not gay. You can't yeah. pause this where he is not looking as cheeky he, as humanly he possible. He has a continuous gay face. It looks like he's taking a thumb in the dump. <laughs> it looks like at all times he is spreading his butt cheeks with two hands so really look hard. At, look Sammy at the one. Sosa look at that. Using the same stuff. Yo, but Sosa, that looks like Jared to the right. Sosa and I. White Sosa and I. 
Dude, oh. White Sosa and I, is that, if you don't pitch that to NBC. Dude, White, Sammy Sosa looks fall. like, Sammy White Sosa looks like, uh, when, like, they did White Chicks. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like Marlon, yeah. Marlon yeah. Wayans yeah. and Sean Wayans. It is a white face he's got going on. Oh man, I used to love those. That would be offensive if it was the it's other way around. So real. It's so <laughs> scary. Oh, God. Hi. Hi. What? I'm talking to Biggie Smalls. It's so oh, exciting. What? So many questions. <laughs> I don't even Biggie? think he really knows who Biggie Smalls is. Yeah. Is he old no enough to know? He wasn't he probably confused. enough to know a Biggie song. Wasn't Biggie confused when he showed up to talk to him? Yeah, yeah that's what we're saying. Like, what is he goes, like, why this dude? Hey, you know there's a black dude down the street got the same gifts. <laughs> <laughs> he cool. No. Yo, where's Whoopi Goldberg? Hell Go no. <laughs> I want to talk to Alfonso with the 7-Eleven. <laughs> oh, dude. No. Oh, dude. Can we... It's one of the plans we'll never get to again. Can we redo the movie Ghost, but instead of Whoopi Goldberg, it's this guy? Yeah, I do. <laughs> he goes, Patrick Swayze goes, if you step into his body, you could take over. Or he, when he has to make out with Debbie, yeah. Debbie Moore, he's like, oh, I can't. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. I just can't. I'm hey. sorry. I know Patrick Swayze's in here, but I just can't. Uh, I mean, like, I love that he came in that way, <laughs> but I just can't. I can't make out with her. It's gross. I'm sorry. I'm softer than, I'm softer than silk. <laughs> I just can't do this right now. <laughs> With the clay? Yeah. The clay is soft. So he goes, oh, I'd God. Rather, I'd rather fuck this clay. He goes, oh, it's all cold. It <laughs> feels like the, that girl's pussy I felt in sixth grade. <laughs> Can we make this but, pot tighter? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, you dumb bitch. Have you ever done pottery before? Yeah. He really hangs in there on the pottery? Yeah. He goes, first of all, you don't even have a fucking working kiln in this place. Yeah. So oh. I don't know how we're going to get this thing hard or not. Did you oh, summer as a child, you Stupid bitch. <laughs> oh, that's Martha. And that's I think not... they fucking. Who, Snoop Martha, and Martha yes. Stewart? You think so? I do. They're around together a lot. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Uh -huh. Good. Is... I do believe that. Just they like they, got, they became Stewart. friends on that uh, from the roasts, right? Yeah. yeah. It's roast. funny when a couple doesn't make sense. Everyone takes a moment and then goes, "Good." them. Yeah. yeah right. Good for them. them. That's, yeah. my fa that's one of my favorite Family Guy jokes where <laughs> oh, they're at the movie and he goes, I, but I'm I'm black and you're white. And she goes, I don't care. Let's dance. And he goes, but the, everyone's going to hate it. And he goes, I don't care. And he goes to Peter and he goes, good for you. And he goes, yeah, good, for you. good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. He goes, he goes the society won't there. like you. He goes, I don't care. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, let's try to finish this up before we take a break yeah, yeah. and let B-Flag go to her show. And I really, honestly believe that. Okay, it's important. <laughs> Thank you. When he said that I was his soulmate, that. Ooh. I wanted to cry, but I wanted to mess up my makeup. Every facial expression looks like it hurts. She's like, oh, God, it was so painful. <laughs> she looks like a balloon that's about to lift off from the sky. Oh, <laughs> he goes, first Crazy. off, I've never been face-to-face -face with the Macy's J float parade. <laughs> Do we have any old pictures of what she used to look oh, like? Yeah. I, should, I forgot what she used to look oh. like. I mean, her eyebrows in the up middle no of her forehead. Of so hot. Nicki Minaj. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gonna put up a picture Little of Nicki Minaj. Was so hot. <laughs> so hot. She was so hot. What made her hot? I never know this kind of stuff. I always I, try to get like a guy's perspective. I'm saying oh, she's so she hot. Like, her body. She had a great face. That's yeah. when she was hot. Yeah. yeah, right there. I thought she was hot. She was really oh. cute. She was like she the original. Body. She was the original okay. little curvy chick. Well, look, that's her. She yeah. was hot. She was I hot. I remember that cover. But I say, like that small okay. waist. Right there. I remember oh. that one. Okay. She was great. Yeah. No, she was really, really hot. But even like, and again, this is plastic surgery. She did a lot of. There's a lot of fake shit on her yeah. there. Who but you go too far. Queen with the. It just, she look aboriginal right there with the queen. Yeah. yeah. Who but is that? That's her. That's her. Oh, I thought that was But it's just like, it was just like a process, and then she went away for a while and came back off. How's Foxy Brown holding up? They were always the uh, the battle. How's Foxy Brown now? Why are you asking? No, it, I'm just kidding. No, yeah. Plastic surgery is no one's, I don't know no one said that sentence. Is. No one said that sentence in 2011. Right. Yeah. Where's yeah. Foxy Where is Brown, Brown now? All it's of a sudden, a ghost appeared in the bathroom. <laughs> No. All right. She looks oh, good shit. still. Yeah. She looks exactly like she was her older. Yeah, that's what you want to go for. Yeah. Man, look at that. Fox Brown's those biggest titties. I wonder oh what God. I think she got like, like some work done, you think? Yeah. I mean, her areolas are coming out of her fucking bra. Yeah. Oh. I'll say what we're going to watch later, a little preview, is that girl Cardi B on the MTV that's Awards. She did. She, her fucking titty is coming out of her dress. I don't know where her nipple goes. <laughs> But her dress is down to here. 
Her entire tit is out except the bottom, bottom. quarter, and you don't even see outline of nipple. <laughs> you don't get to see the areola? I don't know where the fuck her it's, nipple is. It's so it's funny how pussified everyone was. That's the first time I heard that. Like, didn't she make like a stance? Like in last night or something. They all do. Uh, yeah, we'll get the I second hour. On. The second hour, we're going through the VMAs. Okay, okay, we well, got it. it is seven oh five. Yeah, yeah. I turned on. They were clapping for themselves for. So should we try? Let's just do hour. one last. Let's do one last clip of Lil Kim on the yeah, Hollywood yeah. Medium. Word that I always used, even when he was around, because I always felt like he was my soulmate. So that belief that is real. Really has to stop with the place. Is there anything that you feel on your end that you have always wanted to know? Is I know what I feel on my end. Think his family <laughs> might have wanted to have known when it came to circumstance. Mm, I mean, I guess everyone would want to know who did it. Who sure. shot, yeah, shot how about him? That? Absolutely. Supper with the week from right. the absolute. Okay. This is a tough one for him to answer. Yeah, he and he's writing it down. Yes, so I do have to tough. let you know, uh, due to state law of California, <laughs> I, if I am involving a criminal investigation, I do have to bring a detective in. Actually, this is my excuse so I can call a detective. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, it was uh, a black gentleman. Goodbye, little kid. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Bye. So the check is to Tyler <laughs> Henry. It was, uh, yep, yeah, you guessed it, black guys. All right, so. <laughs> is he going? Reveal the answer. Oh, let's see. Let's see. He's looking his, around. Sweating starts. Maybe he sees them in the room. It's <laughs> getting lifted up Can you imagine if we learned who killed Biggie on E? <laughs> this is how it happened. On this, this is yeah. right. you learned. Because it was, it was, it was Buster Ryan. <laughs> or just somebody else like Dinko D from the uh, new school? Yeah, here it is. Yes, when the sweating starts. Okay, this is when I know I'm lying. Because this is when I can feel myself. I know I'm about to bullshit. He would be the shit if he had an etch a sketch. I would believe him. One of the impressions that he was a memory right before passing. And this is as simple as it is of him just standing outside of a residence. And he acknowledges this memory of our members kind of like looking out and taking a deep breath. And the feeling is like his soul was preparing to go, even though he consciously didn't know what was about to fully happen. Um, but it is interesting to note, he is having me bring up two people, two people, two people, and showing me two people conspiring mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. so there is a feeling, interestingly, in the days before, of like, I feel like I'm around a lot of people, I don't know if they're at a party, but the feeling is like, I know something's kind of going yeah. on. But there's a feeling of almost like people talking or hearing that someone might not have wanted him to live. It's showing me a symbol of death threat, and then not taking death threat seriously, mm -hmm. which would indicate that if we don't know who did it, many people would. Mm -hmm. Well, he was definitely at a party before it happened. And, and it was like here, a lot of, of course people. I was. I was all all Disney, oh, stupid what bitch. a fucking jerk. What a half yeah. ass. Yeah. I almost feel like bad Donald for her. Trump answer. If, yeah. She, yeah, if she's really buying into that, I feel <laughs> bad for her, actually. Yeah, she goes, I do what a vague thing. goes. He goes, it was somebody that wanted him dead. But it's also like, he was, <laughs> really? oh, okay. he was, oh, okay. he was standing good. outside, and he was like, here I go. As... <laughs> As if someone's sitting in, in the afterlife not yelling the name. Yeah. Right. I know exactly. Yeah, Yo, like, his, like, it was I'll a... tell you, his name is Carl. Yeah. He be living up in South Central <laughs> Los Angeles. Yeah. I'm looking at the motherfucker right now. He ain't got a shirt on. I'm floating over his house. Yeah. It's 181 <laughs> Cadbury Lane. Why can't you, can you please knock all the cum out your ears <laughs> and listen to me? I'm telling you, this motherfucker murdered me. <laughs> Stop letting this fruit back in my messages. Uh, He's fucking them all up. Get his, get my jacket off his lap. <laughs> Motherfucker's name was Carl. Yeah. Stop being cryptic. I hate this <laughs> shit. I didn't take a deep breath. I took every breath was a deep breath. Who did it? He goes, um, so a person didn't like him. He goes, and it was whoever was next to him in the car. That's so, what he's saying. Who did it? He goes, a bullet. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who was murdered is speaking in riddles about that murder. Yeah, he goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he goes like, fuck, he's like, wearing uh, like Robin Hood clothes and playing a violin because yeah. thou who walkest should yeah. only know the secrets to yeah. it. <laughs>
Oh, only a moon can see a star. <laughs> oh, I know we got to take a break. We got to let B-Flat get down to our show. B-Flat, thank yeah. you so much for hanging out with us. It was so cool to have you here. Thank Again, you so St. Much. Louis campers, you can catch B-Flat's one-woman show at the St. Louis Funny Bone, Sunday, September 10th at 7 p.m. Get your tickets to St. Louis Funny Bone dot com. And uh, I love you, B-Flat. Thank you. It's so good thank to catch you, up with you and be happy here. I such a great time. Yeah, and if you're trying to come to New York, please come in and hang out with us. So do you think everybody heard about all the people that I fucked? Mm, just the people that was in our show. Who, can we get the rundown? There's a lot of fucking people. Yeah. It's, it's she stopped counting at 200. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Good for you. That's all Thank I was you. doing. Yeah. All right. We'll see you uh, next time. We'll catch, we love you. we'll catch you next time, and Thank we'll be right so back. Was, oh, shit, I feel so honored to be here. <laughs> I do. And we'll yeah, I'm glad y'all you doing y'all motherfucking thing. I'm so happy for you, Jay. Thank you, sweetie. Up. Yes. We'll be right back. Jared Freed's hanging out with us. It's the bonfire. <laughs> And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. The bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder with Big J Okerson, as always. Sure Joining is. us on the show, Jared Freed from the J Train Podcast every Tuesday and Friday. You can so find fun. It. Uh, it's fun. And now you got like a, you got a whole fucking empire going. We're trying. We're building, baby. Is it we or you? Me. Okay. <laughs> brick by brick. Yeah, the royal we. The, the royal, royal we, yes. Uh, but uh, you guys are fantastic guests. It's always good. People love having you guys on. Yeah, so. we, it's, we've, been, we've both been on the podcast, both had good times. Uh, I love the embrace of, like, the frat boy lifestyle. Yeah, dude. That, like, it's fun to do. Unapologetically, <laughs> yeah. yeah like, that's what made it really fun. <laughs> well, it's the idea of, like, I don't understand where, like, bro became, like, the white N-word. Like, I don't know when well, that happened. I think like, there's big difference. I, well, the there's N-word big difference, but I, but I like the like. Well, it's only used amongst its people and against its people. Yeah. So if you think, think of it, like, I mean, in the the modern day thing, Whoa. so it's like where this bro became this like, evil thing, where it's like these are just dudes that like to have fun, want to hook up, have a good time, and it's girls too. Yeah. We have Me a lot and of Dan women. Are a couple of field bros. Yeah, <laughs> we're field bros. We totally get it. Oh, I don't know. I'm not in the house with you, yeah. bro. I'm yeah. on a field bro. <laughs> More of a house bro myself, but I, I you know, I'm, I, I can speak to you guys, uh, on, you know, on a, on a certain level. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we um, can connect on chicks, but you know, well, we only, that's it. when it comes to <laughs> that's it. <laughs> when it comes to maid service, but I don't I'm know sure. if you'll understand. I'm you know? sure you'll trade us exactly. I got well, once a week on handy. I don't know if you guys will get that. No, not at all. I, that even it sounds made up to me. Feeling weird when the the maid comes to the house when you're don't younger. Like you guys don't have that childhood memory. Nope. Dancing around a a, a woman. My mom's the... friend Susan cleaned our house a couple of times. Oh, my grandmother had uh, an old black man named Dave, who Dave. was just like so. Yeah, Dave was great, but he was just an old black and in every way, like old black guy with like the Kango hat. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was cleaning he, up. He was cleaning our house every every week. My grandmother's house. You want to hear something she crazy? Paid him well. She drove him home, and like he was like a good dude. He died eventually, but uh, he was like an old black guy. He used to really he had like you know long fingernails and shit. It was just so weird. But like, but great there, dude. I mean, that the, that they become part of your family. Like yeah. as weird as uh, my grandparents growing up. Okay, yeah. I'll tell you something. They had. Are you the o- family from Get Out? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Except with Asian couples, we would have oh. Asian cup. My grandparents would have Asian couples like live in their basement while like the the make the, shoes, the, 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 the <laughs> cobbling. Yeah. You know, but the husband would go to school like at MIT, and the wife would do like you know stuff around the house, and then he would end up fi- and then and, like my parents like were like, oh, we want to. We'll do that too, like babysit all that. So then we would have like these string of Asian couples that would like live at our house. That would live with you, yeah, and live in like the basement. I have been training since you were a baby, <laughs> and one when, one worked and the other one go to clean school. House. Go to one would go to school like in be in grad school. They were like always sure. the most smart people in the entire. They're world. Saving up their money to go to the casino. This is to yeah. the to the point like, where Pygon. my <laughs> grandparents had a couple. Pygon. 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 Yeah, they're yelling at each other. I the to the point where my grandparents had a couple that now is in our family, and like comes to like Rosh Hashanah. That's so funny. Like they're Jewish Asians now. Jared brings home a girl and he's like, that's it, but don't know. You're sorry. That's my Asian mom. <laughs> yeah, that's she doesn't <laughs> like when we fuck downstairs. Jews and Asians, man. That's a weird link there. I know. Yeah. I, got, Jews I, 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 have Asians. Asian, I have Asian cousins. Really? Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we Jewish up, men, love, like, oh, Jewish like, men love Asian women. It's the opposite of their mom. Yeah, because they're not domineering. Yeah. yeah they're not like, uh, where are you going? Yeah. Where, what if there was an Asian girl who talked like that? Like, <laughs> where are you? What are you going? Smoking hot Asian cousins. Right. Smoking hot. We showed pictures of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Very hot. Um, 
Asian wanna, mix is the best. I think we should do what we did again yesterday and take just let's close out with the last break because I, I want to get into the VMA stuff. You watch the VMAs on DVR. So are we, we should, we're we should finish. We should finish, little kid. But we wanted to get to the point where, yeah, that's one. Wait, who's that? That's this my one cousin. Asian, that's one of my Asian cousins. That's Far East Oakers. Yeah, that's not Far East Oakers. <laughs> what if I told that's you? Singapore, right? And my cousin Rachel's the other one. I like that her background on her Facebook is like kind of Asian. There's the cherry music. blossoms. It's yeah. Florida. It's Florida. That's where she lives. Jay, this one's. I mean, this, this one's straight up smoke show. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, Jay. Whoa, she's making statements on Facebook. Yeah, dude, Jacob just slapped his face. <laughs> oh wow! Wait, is that her? Is that not her? It didn't look like her at all. I don't know, but that chick was smoking hot. No, that was like, somebody else. Yeah, that was. Are like we good on Hollywood? Little Kim's Asian, Asian cousin. It's a, I feel like we're good. There's two minutes left. Yeah, is that it, you think? That's he, it. He's basically told you nobody killed him that he knows. Yeah, He'll that's never what we were waiting you. for. Yeah, All right. that's fine. Let's be able to Let me get out my notes for the VMAs. I mean, this. So I'll you... tell you where I came in. I missed Kendrick Lamar's opening performance. I'll tell you where I came in. Katy Perry landing from quote unquote outer space. Do you have her monologue? I'm giving her or... shit shit I have monologue. The whole thing, but it's we have some ad issues. Every once in a while, it stops and makes you watch five ads. But I have two of them queued up. So, well, I like to watch Katy Perry's monologue because you know we're comedians, so we might as well establish. Yeah, let's see how the setup punches. I try to explain this to my girlfriend, who's in her late twenties. She's mm. twenty seven. She's twenty. Yeah, she was. I was like, the VMAs used to be the coolest thing in the world. Well, I mean, looking, I turned it on and off. I kept like flipping, flipping it on and looking at it. You're like, Oh, it kind of makes sense at a certain age. You'd think this is like amazing. Like we're doing it, everything. The VMAs, all MTV award shows. It feels like they're trying to make everything. We're doing it. Like us. more of us. The kids are finally taking over. And yeah. it's like, no, you ain't doing shit. You're not convincing your uncle. Yeah. Well, this how I feel about race. This, this year. I still love Jeff Sessions, yeah. even if I jerk off to Katie. This Perry. year. Yeah. Like this is. This year it feels to be all about like, it doesn't matter if you're fat or a burn victim. We're all beautiful. <laughs> you and then they just show, it. and then you just keep showing a bunch of disinterested and people on their phones. It, and the, and the, and that's the, really funny that everyone's just so disinterested in an award show. You know what they did to make it seem like everybody's into it? I swear to you. They, it looks, it appears that they gave everybody in the audience makes them wear some wrist thing. Yeah. That's a light that's on some kind of a, it's set to a thing. Yeah. So if you will perform, uh, it looks like everyone's like holding up like but cell phones are super into it, but it's just, everyone's just lit up <laughs> and they're just doing their own thing. They couldn't give two shits. I'm surprised they don't make people lock their phones in those bags. Yeah, Chappelle figured it out. Yeah, the yeah. fucking VMAs can't. Yeah, right? I mean, Chappelle left that technology at comedy. Works. Because here's the yeah. thing, it's got nothing to do with the awards. Award. It's, and I promise you, all my life, it's the same five songs up for almost every award. Yeah. The same five people. Like, Kendrick Lamar, uh, it's Kendrick Lamar, The Weeknd with somebody, DJ Khaled with somebody. Uh, I, like, I think a Katy Perry song maybe also is it, but it's like these same five songs. Yeah. Over and over is all the things up for. There's no rock at all award. That's over. Well, but I remember Mike Fenoy said today, Mike Fenoy was like, remember when it was like, the MTV Awards you were younger, it's like Nev Campbell introduced like the Gin Blossoms, do you and then like when, a rapper would do you come out. Remember when Race yeah. Against the Machine climbed up the? I do remember that. Mm-hmm. That guy the, almost like lost his mind. Yeah, right? it, well, he just no, he just climbed up and he was just shaking the thing, and you're like, yeah, ah, that's so cool. I remember uh, Nirvana breaking their instruments after they played a song. Oh, what you would call? Yeah, that's what, uh, uh, Chris Nostalgic. Yeah. Yeah, it hits him in his head. Chris Novoselic. Yeah, Novoselic. yeah, I like all Kurt Nostalgic. <laughs> Wax his face with the stupid. But guitar. that's the whole thing. Is that that's what I'm talking about? Where it used to be. Like, well, I knew I saw that coming. 2014 Grammys, they did um, Foo Fighters, Queens of the Stone Age, Nine Inch Nails with Lindsey Buckingham, and they did like a medley. Dude, they did it at the very end of the Grammys, and everyone was walking out as all those bands were performing. And then they just cut away from it, and you're like, oh, you're just straight up disrespecting rock and roll right now. It's it, this is. Uh, I'm giving my quick my my ten cent fucking analysis here. Everything's about like it's like be beautiful just the way you are, but no one would possibly 
like a, a, a fat dude couldn't walk up to these girls and be like, hey, I'm beautiful on the inside. Like, yeah. whatever, tubs. Yeah. You know, like, oh, you fucking bum me out. Yeah, and they won't be, and like, and like, the, yes, they won't uh, be also, mean, and uh, like they wouldn't be mean about it also. Like, yeah. they'd be like, ugh, can you believe that guy? Like, uh, it's, it's also this, to me. it's the same girl that's in a, like a string bikini on Instagram, like, pizza is life. And then like, <laughs> some fat guy's like, hey, I, uh, I actually believe that too. Uh, it's my favorite food. I've dedicated my entire life to pizza. You don't see a lot of yeah. male curve celebrations going yeah. on. Maybe, you know? yeah, we, let's start that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's get our curves. That, and I want to say that every single song now that comes out has a part where they go, Oh! If you're a burn victim, love yourself. It's all of a sudden, it's like, Oh! Oh! to tell you that I feel like you are all mocking the great Native American tribes. Uh, let's, should we watch, um, I have the monologue. Or yeah, let's watch opening. Katy Perry host it. So let's watch her monologue. You know, the hilarious Katy Perry. She fucking eats it so hard. It'd be hard funny the if they made time. them lock their Does phones really? away. Oh, they wouldn't do that. And no, every, there would just be an empty stadium. Everyone would get them and be like, "We have to lock them." Uh, uh-uh. uh. I'm out front. Yeah, also, leave. also because it's more important to them. It means more to them. They don't care to about say like, they were there. Than they, to be there. They want that, but it's not just that. They want the audience, the people <laughs> in the audience. They want like fucking Ellen DeGeneres or who Cardi B or whoever to to be like just watch the sickest performance of blah 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 yeah. and, you know oh my husband Jared Leto is just up there he's so cute hashtag next husband hashtag whatever you know whatever they just want they want all that it's, hashtag it's, Dallas Buyers Club hashtag wish that was the real him hashtag <laughs> we give it to him it's a big pat on the back hashtag wish art imitated life hashtag <laughs> wishing AIDS on Jared Leto hashtag <laughs> Jesus oh my God. Hashtag ruin the Joker. Hashtag. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag wish he would have died instead of Heath Ledger. Uh, let's hit play and watch Katy Perry's monologue. Um, I think it could be. Uh, so they're doing. Someone. She's sugarcoating this. That, that looks like trash. So it's set the record for most spacewalks. Does that actually count? Katy Perry count also looks like the, uh, the Hollywood medium. We walk with our hands everywhere, but no, it doesn't count. Looks at like all Justin Bieber transitioning. I mean, really, I, I don't know what her. Th- she does not have the face for that. Haircut. She also. doesn't. Her yeah. eyes are too big. It's it's everyone's good. beautiful, Jay. Uh, that's yeah, what they want. Everyone's so beautiful. Good at the Grammys. She like she performed in this white Tom Ford suit. Remember she did that wool thing. She looked beautiful. Well, anyone looks beautiful in Tom Ford. <laughs> what does that mean to dumb, us? <laughs> fucking it's a dumb statement, Christine. Uh, Doy. So the whole point is, is like they used to do movie parodies. And all those different things. So uh, on the MTV Music Awards this year, they did a whole. Yes, yeah, she had longer hair, but they uh, they did a thing of Katy Perry's getting ready to go to space because they made the Moon Man no longer a Moon Man; it's a Moon person. Is that what it is? Is that yes. the whole thing? It's a cisgender Moon. It's no longer cisgender. Yeah, that's, that's real. a real thing. They took they they made it. Uh, just make it a Moon Woman. Like I just like just make please. it something. Make it a Moon, make it a moon a Woman and say we're changing it from man, Moon Man to Moon Woman. Go uh, okay. Yeah. Every guy in the world would just be like, sure. Sure, yeah. Uh, okay. But then some fucking dickless fucking medical freak would be like, no! It's got to be a fucking weird androgynous snake person. So I think that's the reason. None of us want to fuck. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants to fuck. It's crazy to me that they have this whole show built around, we're all beautiful, but no one's coming. There are 73 <laughs> genders. Like, it's crazy. There's 73 genders. I'm only willing to fuck one, though. Yeah. <laughs> so call me. I've really, I've really, real I've really, jerk. I've really really zoned in on the one I want to fuck. I'm going to go with chicks. Yeah. <laughs> well, MT- here's the article up from Rolling Stone. MTV changing the VMA Moon Man to Gender Neutral Award. It could be a man. It could be a woman. It could be transgender. It could be nonconformist. Okay. I, I'm President all for, Chris like, McCarthy we want to make says. everyone feel comfortable and everything. But, like, wouldn't you be a dick if, like, or a whatever <laughs> if you were your thing and you were like, I need it to represent me? Yeah. So, like, if I was like, it has to be a man, I'll be angry if it's not a white man, but, moon man. I wonder if there and are. Then, but if they're saying, if they're, like, who are they servicing? If there was someone out there that was like, if it's not gender neutral, I am going to be fucking pissed. So, like, that person's being a dick. 
They really are. Yeah, it is. You, you are. He's right. You're, if, you're, you're if, catering if, to the dipshittiest people. Well, well no, it's like the powers power? that be at Viacom just, like, knowing how to... They got the memo. You know, know guys that's in. Just knowing how to, like, play with what's going on in yeah. current so trends. That's, so, so that's... Saying, the who are they servicing? That's so that, the, so that sets up the whole Katy Perry moon person sure, thing. But, but, but I'm just saying, if, if this was the... First year of the MTV Awards, and they go, the award is going to be a moon tranny. I'd be like, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't care. I don't care. Like, who care. That's what I'm wondering. Like, who are they? Who was asking for this? Well, you, I, I, I can't. Serious? I think we, who, I'll tell you, who, whoever starts identifying as that when they start getting words and they're like binary and whatever that shit means, yeah. those people. Those are the ones that were concocting but, genders to literally go, and you're, I've made this gender up, and now you're not fucking paying homage to it? Yeah. <laughs> well, they did. MTV changed it, and now Katy Perry. It's a moon lizard person. Yeah. <laughs> A moon lizard Jew. And you go, whoa, that got real <laughs> lizard Jew. I will not be defined by my lizard Jew. <laughs> my lizard okay? Jew. I will lizard not. Judaism. My, my lizard, lizard Judaism is my thing. And I, and I will be Do you myself. like flies? I, <laughs> I love it. No flies and cheese. Can I get locks and flies? <laughs> Hit play. <laughs> oh my god this is it it's stellar it's interstellar when you were on apollo 13 like what was that like i, I, I wasn't actually on the so they have her facetiming all these people see, it's just a rolling sketch just see if you can jump ahead of the model it's, it's, crazy. it's crazy because these are all jokes for 13 year old girls okay well is that what just what mtv is now but, is. But, but if it's jokes for 13 year old girls why the hell are you bringing on kevin bacon like, yeah, like <laughs> that joke doesn't hit. Why would they? No, thirteen-year-old girl is going. And it's bacon. Yes, from the there's a thirteen-year-old girl. So who are you for now? There's a thirteen-year-old girl looking, looking back at her parents, going six degrees of separation. <laughs> yeah, you get it. like it's, you're doing this for nobody. Six degrees of Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Also, Katy Perry reminds me of that girl that's like, my friends think I'm funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you'll see and it. And she's going for it. Because it gets rough. You don't get it. My friends get it. It gets nice and rough. So she lands in the spacesuit. Here's the monologue. Jared Leto, Jared Leto, Leto. How do you say his last name? He looks like a fucking Three Musketeer. Yeah, he's he always looks like an a idiot. pinata Three Musketeer. Is he, he gonna grant wishes? He dresses like a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, and, and I've never met a handsomer man that does everything in his power to be goofy looking. He's like, I'm gonna put out this brand on my forehead. Well, yeah. yeah why is he, it. why is he looking off wistfully like he's just thinking of Black Lives Matter? Yeah. Like it looks like he's just yeah. Sit down, Merlin, and trying to watch a show. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. You're 45, Jared. <laughs> yeah. All it's time, time to leave. How can he do their song? They do like they just changed. They were a rock band, and like, and like oh, a rock band's gonna actually perform, and they perform with a fucking rapper. Okay. Yeah, he's just here to make money. And that song, and we'll play it next to each other, is a direct ripoff. That song is the, the, the new song. Thirty Seconds of Mars per, plays. Uh, spoiler for moving ahead. It's. This, that, that Imagine Dragons song. There's yeah. no, every song sounds exactly alike. Mm -hmm. Jacob, what were you gonna say? He looks like a jerk off version of Roman. Yeah. He is you know? a yeah. jerk off. Wait. Roman's a jerk off version of Roman. You've actually come to love him now. <laughs> well, you <laughs> liked how Roman dresses. We're of course talking about oh. Roman and Sierra. <laughs> And oh, we're talking man. about a future episode next Thursday. Oh, I'm on board. I'll tell you what, I'm almost a Roman. If he had merch, I'd buy it. Bombums. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> let's go back to Katie's opening monologue. And at Earth, you guys look so great because actually before I left, I took a little break, you know, and I went to space. And when I left, it seems like things are kind of screwed up, right? But you all look so happy and healthy and peaceful. Why is she talking to the crowd like they're kindergartners? Because that's what she Feels performs like for a lot. I mean, she's literally talking to them like, when I left, an oh, evil man named Donald came to came to the town and was ruining everything. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Uh, hey, 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 <laughs> like a Gregor a porn party. Yeah, yeah. turns into a porn. Gregor's going. Yeah. That's like a great a poor party. It's crazy. Did, 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 like, is it? If they talk about Trump, I, I tuned in like a couple times. 
Trump comes up like like he's the mad wizard. Like he's like it's it's crazy. It's, oh, they bring him up. I know. It's like, it's it's amazing he affects this this much. But it, but it's yeah. also, and, you, and it makes you be like. But you know what? It would almost like bum him out if you just didn't pay him any attention. Yeah, if you just did the opposite and not bring him up. He'd be like, why are they talking to me? Probably, but, but it's just so odd. This is they they just go the most obvious thing. Well, let's they, watch the rest of this. Yeah. They talk about him like he's a like a nightmare that's going to go away someday. It's like deal with the reality. God. Feels like since I've been gone, you you figured out all of the problems in the world right now, and the world is doing so well, right? I also here's, here's my, by the way pause. I'm sorry. I, I, also, that's the same head, kind of comedy that comes in a motivational speech. This is what happens too. The crowd's not paying attention to anything. Yeah. So I don't even know if the crowd's fully getting the concept that I don't think they watched the video <laughs> that just happened with her being like, I just came back from outer space. So they're just on their phones, and all of a sudden she comes out and she goes, "So since I've been gone, right?" They're like, "Where the fuck? What is she?" No, or they look, they go, "Space is chill." <laughs> they go, "Space is can you, can you do, geo- they accept, do they accept overweight people? Can you space? geotag it? <laughs> what are the filters up there? <laughs> Fine, great. Maybe not so much. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna move forward. I gotta get out of this space too. This is just I mean, I mean, that's banana. fucking like. That's like what? Why would they cut to that? Cut it's to somebody crazy. not giving a fuck. And who is that? Does anybody know who that is? It's like it's, a Jewish producer. That's yeah. Lena Dunham's boyfriend who was in Vampire Weekend. Is that what it is? Yeah, or he, was he in fun? He, fun. he was in fun, yeah. He, Jack, produ- he what's produces his name? Antonov. An- Antonov. Antonov. Yeah. And he produces stuff now. Yeah. He wears his pants up to his fucking tits and he has a Jewish chain around him. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's his, like, style. Do I mean, it's say, so. Uh, do they say nice pants? Why do you wear them up to your tits? <laughs> nice, nice pants. No. <laughs> All right. And she's just. What are the- She's trying to be like charming, but it's, I mean, you used, there used to be VMAs where people come out fucking killing. Oh yeah, that is him. Yeah. I like her too, by the way. Be proud and fat. I'm going to go try to lose a lot of weight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, she, said she lost weight because of Trump's elections. Like, I know you probably just got your shit together a little bit. I know. Oh, really? Why don't you just, why don't you gain it all back then? Why don't you just fat yourself back up, you pig? She found an eating Ugh. plan that worked. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it was Trump. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it been it's him. just all like such transparent bullshit. But it, yeah, that's the thing is, is it feels very forced and false. Yeah, it's it's uh, I, everyone's their own PR company now, so everyone has to be good. Well, that's what I love yeah. about people who are coming out when, when like stuff happens. People come out and they condemn it yeah. on Facebook. You're like, <laughs> you're a shithead who works at Walmart. Yeah. What are you condemning? We've been waiting. I, for- <laughs> I don't believe in that ISIS attack in Africa. Yeah. I condemn it. It's like, cool, man, you have a GED. I don't think you could even know what condemn means. We've been waiting on your opinion. Yeah. <laughs> but this is real, just all personality, no substance. Like oh, this yeah. is. But it goes nowhere. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, play it. Kissing Sunday. these days, actually. I want to look kind of stylish. Wear a, sh- a choker, uh, maybe some ripped jeans. Good for that woman that's next Good to Good for the, the internet for stopping was. this. Be huh. great, right? I know this. Be- oh my God, this one is so beautiful. That's a reference that wow, hits with twenty five percent of the audience, and I love that. What is the reference? The Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. Uh, it, I mean, what's that? Uh, what's it, that group? That's the uh, that's Fifth Harmony. Four Fifth, Harmony. Fifth Harmony. Was the, yeah, they're, I'm they're, sorry, they're, 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 they're called Four Harmony. They're, yeah, they're known for being like curvy. Pop stars. Yeah, they're harmonic fours. <laughs> they look like Talbot. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say they do look like Talbot's models. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, by the way, I said and I said this earlier. Where I was like, I, I, I brought these girls up. I go, none of these girls would fuck me. I get it. But I mean, like, it's just why are they? I mean, the black chick's body is fantastic, but the other ones they come out all yeah. scantily clad, and it's like. They should and call- Demi Lovato is the same thing. It's like, yeah. why are you chubbing naked? I don't get it. They should call the group. I'd fuck them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the that should call. be the title yeah, of the group. That's the group name of the group. Uh, you know, what time is it? Yeah, bang yeah. them. What time is it? One one a.m. Am I forty? Yeah, forty. Yeah. Wait, does Demi Lovato try to identify as like a chubby girl? No. She, for a second, she did no a lot way. of like shaming stuff because people were making fun. Like there was, she was like, a, I think she had addiction issues, and then came out, you know, where she gained some weight after that, and then. People are giving she, looks her she looks great there. She's hot. She's hot. She is hot. Super I'm just hot chick. Yeah, I'm sick of the. There's this whole community of already hot. We already agreed we'd fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> so like years ago. 
Yeah, like I've never had like a buddy come up to me and be like, "Yo, check out that chick in the loose yoga pants." Like we've been talking about this for years. But why do you? I don't understand this whole thing where it's like, it's like, it's like whatever. Be whatever you are. Yeah. Who gives a shit? But I don't understand like. Like I, I I I wish that people wouldn't like stop and point, uh, yell fat. I don't want people to shame me for being fat. <laughs> well, At the same time, I don't want to. I'm not comfortable go. I don't want to go walk around with my fucking. I wouldn't wear a tiny uh, bathing suit well, to the Jay, fucking beach. The you whole... need to explore your body. <laughs> you need to be proud. Uh-huh. Wear and whatever you I want. think we are all going to have nude Wednesdays. We're all going to do the show <laughs> nude, and we're going to be comfortable with our bodies because we're accepting. It's this weird. Okay. It's this weird thing of uh, we don't. You shouldn't care what anyone thinks, but everyone fucking love me. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can't really say is. both at the same. You time. can't be like I. I don't care what other people think, but then also don't be mean and Ex- judge me. So uh, either you don't care, yeah. or you care. What is it? What is it? What? Make, it, make a decision, fat ass. To be told they're hot. I'll tell yeah. you what. MTV. Look at, look at, look look at stank you? face on the end there. Oh, I love yeah. it. She's like, oh. I love like, that Katy Perry is just basically like, let's just fucking walk our way through this monologue with yeah, no oh, jokes, yeah. nothing. Because she just pulled it out like, oh, she is giving a um, amusement park puppet show like performance. You know where they go? Well, look who's over here. Is it the dragon? Hey, the kids are the ostrich. No. <laughs> no. It's what you said, yeah. the kindergartner thing. Yeah. No! Should I go in this door? No! Yeah! <laughs> Should I go in this door? Yeah! <laughs> Good job, MTV. You made yourself into shitty, carny entertainment. Oh! We're literally just <laughs> taking money from morons. <laughs> it's tarred television. Maybe I'll go visit this Robert E. Lee statue. Boo! No! Oh, no! Okay. Boo! All right. How about this Black Lives Matter protest? Yay! <laughs> Opinions are gross. <laughs> Nuance sucks. Oh, yeah. How about Michael Jackson's? Fucking airhead daughter. They they roll her out. She goes, uh, racism's bad. And, every, and bad people are racist. <laughs> and you go, yeah. Sure. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Just, and I don't even know quite what I'm here. Yeah. I, I what do this. I do? <laughs> She's treated like a Nobel Prize winner <laughs> for go. saying that. Like everyone just stands up. Hey, and starts, hey uh, do you guys remember when that, you guys remember when that, uh, <laughs> when that super, uh, mentally, dur- like the guy that mentally broke down because he was so famous had sex with that weird nurse from the Midwest and had a daughter? <gasps> well, she's gonna tell you how to <laughs> yeah, remember? Hey, we call her Paris Jackson. Pretty sure there's no blood relation to the late great Michael Jackson, but it's some fat nurse's daughter. Bring her out, everybody. <laughs> some, fat, some fat nurse's daughter. She's a fat nurse's daughter. Think <laughs> like this. But she's the heir to the fortress. And while we're fucking sitting here throwing darts. Why the fuck is Ed Sheeran famous? Why is a balding, smelly-looking ginger? <laughs> you know, I put on a lot of pot. Oh, great. I wouldn't mind seeing his squish box. <laughs> the old Eddie Sheeran. <laughs> squish box. <And> that's, uh... <laughs> Just... This Balenciaga. The black chick in the group has no idea what's happening. Retro Pilgrim. It's super cool. 2016 was terrible, but it feels like things are getting a little bit better, especially in fashion, right? Correct? Sorry, what is this? Today's news. Oh, I do need to catch up. That's correct. She thinks she's being smart, too. She thinks she's being funny. You guys have uh, funny and profound. Really been going through it, haven't you? I mean, how how the fuck are you coping right now? What what is this? Who's that bimbo that was just incredibly engaged by it? I don't know who yeah. she is, but I'll tell you what. When, she goes, when it, I, what's going to happen next? I'll t- what's going to Who I'll, shot JR? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what. I don't know who that girl is, but you see how excited she is about the fidget spinner? Yeah. The girl in the audience who just looked up? That same girl. One of the girl, the black chick in uh, Harmonic Fives. Yeah. And yeah, uh, fuck them. She fucking does a split in the middle of the dance, and they cut to that girl in the audience going like, Oh, my God, can you believe? You said... Two hours later in the show, that girl presents an award and she goes, guys, I'm sorry, I know I gotta go off script here, but I mean, uh, Fifth Harmony, that split, 
Ah, oh, I mean that split. And the crowd is kind of like, that was like two hours ago. What? She goes, I do. I have a hard time processing <laughs> knowledge. Goes, like one leg this way, one leg that way. Her vagina to the roof. I said a fucking virtual impossibility not two hours ago. I mean, I don't know how she's walking. She got up and walked away from that. <laughs> Does she come in pieces? I don't know what happens. Is it like when you're drunk and you're driving and you get an accident and you relax, so that's why you don't get injured? Is that why she drunk? Oh, you're coping this whole year? Hold on. Wait, they gave that? her a fidget spinner. Ellen's generous. Is she in like, a throne? Is Ellen DeGeneres yeah. just in a like? For some reason, she's like sitting at a table. <laughs> she yeah, she was just watching like this was the like that show where they turn around after pressing the button. Because you're on my team. <laughs> Welcome to the voice. Welcome you're the, the voice. voice. Yeah. But yeah. she literally like, she's watching from like a like a a table she, with a chair next to it, like by herself in this weird little she, section. She literally looked like she was overlording this whole thing, being like, "You better not offend me." Yeah, or she's just like a drug dealer from the early nineties, where she's like, "This is my table. Bring out the sh- bring out the bottles of champagne." <laughs> you call me Muff Dive and Nino Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna hand out turkeys. I'm gonna hand out turkey basters. I'm getting a bitch. I'm gonna hand out ass whoopers if you don't get away from me, motherfucker. <laughs> Whoa, yo, all right, Ed. All right, I'm sorry, Ed. You got it, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, ED. <laughs> finally unites us is music, right? When you have to say right at the end. By the way, yeah. there's nothing more divisive than the music of today. I, mean, <laughs> I hate God. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. Not that lion tamer, Jared Leto's okay no with it. No music. <laughs> Nothing better than music. All oh, the music that all of us can agree on the opinions in the music lyrics. Like, yeah. they, like you mean there was never music before that would like you'd have make you think or whatever. Like yeah. all this, we can all agree that the music that doesn't make us think is going to bring us together, right? Don't worry. Right. What do you think, Jared Leto as G- Gunther Gable Williams? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Williamsburg Liberace. What do you got? Uh, what do you got on the subject? Uh, oh, because even in the apocalypse, we deserve a great soundtrack. Are you with me? So that was it. So they're like, get in, get out. So let me go to my notes. Let me just say something that will voice. offend her completely. Her tits look great. Oh, my heart cans Holy are fantastic. Holy shit. Or, I just would love if some oh, random you can, this. you can play this as uh, some random dude just came up to the stage like, "Yo, your tits are looking great." Like, didn't listen to the whole some, thing. Some drunk Michael Island. Jackson's fat nurse's daughter. <laughs> she's incredibly hot. Finally, she's here to I give us perspective. A lot of love and light here tonight. Already, um, a lot of diversity. Also, pauses. I like. Also, hey, can the new thing be hot chicks getting tattoos like their skins the cover of a binder? <laughs> I mean, none of them. Do you get eighteen? Unrelated tattoos on one arm. Yeah, are you in a prison gang, hot chick? I mean, get a sleeve of tattoos. Why do you have eight little tiny, like, I got a circle, and that's Saturn, yeah. and this is a UFO, goes, I an got, alien face, I got this an one. initial. I, was, I got this one when I was in the C block, because ain't no motherfucker running up on me without getting got. And, this and says, then I got this one on my tattoos that say, uh, Primo for life, because that was my jail bitch. And this says Mrs. Paris Eisenberg, because that was my boyfriend in fifth grade. And I got it all done. So, uh, so wait, do you want to watch this? These are pretty much in order of the things you should watch. This is one you should watch for sure. Can I, just, can I read you my notes so we can give as like a teaser for what we're going to see here? That I'm gonna sure. Show you? We got. We only got like five more minutes left. No, we got like ten minutes left. We got to do the commercial. <sighs> no, we could do that at. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that after. Yeah, You're too good to us, Jacob. Um, Whatever you want, baby girl. This is my notes. <laughs> uh, this is my notes. Ready. Pete Wentz and Tiana Taylor. That's just going to be, you'll see that. Lord Performance, question mark. Oh, I uh, heard about this. Uh, Taylor Swift. We don't have to watch her thing, but Taylor Swift is like, I, how does anyone respect this fucking dumb sellout? She was a country music artist who wrote her own, and that was always her thing. Like, she writes she her own her songs. Herself. She plays guitar. Nate loves she's, her. I know, but she's just done it. She did the exact Mariah Carey thing and the same uh, Jewel thing of a girl. They get a girl, Katy Perry. They get a girl who's like, well, this girl's like actually a talented singer or whatever. He goes, I wonder if we can cram her in a fucking, like, thing that shows her pussy lips and fucking have her tits hanging out and, 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 wish, and doing songs in auto-tune. I just wish they would all admit they love money. Like, yeah. like, that's the thing. Like, they don't, there's no admittance to, that they love True. money. Like, Taylor Swift doesn't just switch genres be for nothing. This is, I mean, look at her. 
What was you doing? And by the way, I don't care. Oh. <laughs> but it's, and, it's, and then I care, and she's hot, and I get all that shit. But I remember when this? Tim McGraw did this. <laughs> <laughs> she's just gone Beyonce. So wait, I just want to hear if you're going to like these. I won't stop again. Pete Wentz, Tiana Taylor, Lord Performance, Taylor Swift, Kesha's Fat, Little Yachty Can't Read, <laughs> Poor Rod Stewart, <laughs> Katy Perry Performance, Dudes in Heels. <laughs> That's my well, this dude. We were just watching the clip from the Taylor Swift video, and there were guys in heels. Was there? I heard, Nailing it. I heard the Lord performance is, like, wacky. It's, it's like just her dancing. She doesn't do anything. She just tards out to her own song, and she's not a good da- It's like... It's again, look, it's like, oh, uh, look can at we the weird... jump to that? Is like, there any way we can jump like, to that, or we got to watch... Look at the weird introvert. Do, yeah, you don't have to listen. Paris Jackson just goes like... Wait, where it is right here. Let's just play it. She it's, goes it's, like, it's a... racism's wrong! <laughs> you realize the difference we would make? If we were to all stand up, united as one, our impact, it would be huge. <sighs> Believe me. Paris, you have a billion She's dollars. She's trying to make her fucking... And that's her impression that's of Trump. fake news. So let's leave uh, here tonight. We heard a buzzword. That <laughs> we must show these Nazi white supremacist jerks <laughs> in Charlotte. Yeah, white supremacist! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> let's do it, white su- we have- Score one for the white supremacist! You heard it at first! Michael Jackson seeds on the side of Nazis! <laughs> she said it! She said it! Now, she as far it. as these white supremacists, yeah, <laughs> white supremacy. She goes, "Oh my god, I didn't know that there was that many of them. Oh my god, that black girl's a white supremacist. How is this possible? I don't understand." Any oh of my them. god, the Fifth Harmony is a white supremacist. She's black. Them, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> the Black Harmony is <laughs> white supremacist. Uh, this is Lord's performance because we got. Yeah, let's watch this one. Looks like a talent show. A couple rebel top gun pilots flying with no. Oh, it is just her dancing. To she her doesn't own sing music. at all. She doesn't sing at all. No. She just shitty dances because she's not really a dancer. Oh my god, this is such fucking family talent show. This is like watching, they did a scene like this on friggin' Twin Peaks the other week. I picture this is what Christine does when I'm away. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not on stage. That's Christine's cleaning up dance. <laughs> She finds old clothes like Lord clearly did here. Yeah. Uh, Lord, if you're going to take all the aluminum foil and make a dress of it, you have to tell me so I can buy more at the store. And they go... There's no way someone looks at this and goes, this is genius. I swear to you, they go, they go stay tuned for a, for a, a, a side of Lord you've never seen, like, dancing on one, like... Good for this this is like going to the rich kid's birthday party where he has his own show for himself. Yes. Like this is I mean, like I've never been to those, but <laughs> yes, this oh, sounds I, like that. It's just like, oh, and we all have to sit here and do what you want to do. By the way, I don't hate the song. No, she's a fantastic musician. I I, I, I think the, the song album's is great. Yeah? I have the album. The it's great. One. The new one's great. Yeah, I bought it too. It's great. I, I think this song is really good. But this but I is don't know what they're doing. This is like hey. I've had a party for myself. Now watch me interpretive dance. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to watch me? I'm going to grab the air like it's an enemy. Now it's a friend. <laughs> well, she's now like, I love it. Now I don't. She's so not good at it. Welcome we've tr- well, we, we've trusted our entertainment. I used to think this with American Idol. Like, we've trusted our entertainment to 13-year-old girls, and that could be the worst group of people what, you could ever trust this? your entertainment to. Uh, we, could do, we can go, Pitt. This, that's all this is. Pete Wentz, Tiana Taylor. Any chance we got that? I mean, it really, look at that kick. That kick, by the way. Can we just watch that kick again? I'm sorry. That was fucking <laughs> hilarious. She's ridiculous. Right here. Oh, wait. It was before. I think it was right as they picked her up. Oh, I don't know. Who gives did a you, shit? I mean, did you We're guys lost. ever watch American Idol? Uh, you, yeah, the first, like, two episodes. Remember when Simon would come people. Simon yeah. would come in and be like, hey, here are the real issues with your thing. Like, he would, like, come in with, like, honest critique. Yeah. And it was vicious because it was, like, to the person's face. And then you just have the audience, like, at those live shows, be like, Bam! And yeah, you're like, it's kick. all chicks. Just all hold right. on, Christine. Go, Christine, Christine, go, go back. Go, go, hold on, watch this kid. How can you boo her? She has a crutch. <laughs> watch it. Oh, God, go back and watch that kick. <laughs> this whole thing. I know. Can someone make a gif of that kick right here? It's a two flat. minutes. Or, we're at the bonfire, SXM, we'll tweet out the video right here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, she's not coordinated. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a baby does when you pull him out of the yeah. pool. You know when you don't get thrown in the pool? You're like, no, 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 no. I'm not going in there. This is like your niece uh, making you watch her do a dance routine. You're That's like, okay. 
Okay. Exactly. Okay. Yes. That's exactly. Oh, what that's it is. good. Oh, another verse. Great. Oh, Look oh, what I can verses. do. Look what uh, I can do. The, uh, the other, uh, right now, this is so special. Keep going. You got to get to. Yeah. Oh, oh, ad content. Son of a bitch. Well, Do you look on YouTube for these things? Yeah, Jay, I can, I, but we got to... I think in two clips you've proven to me that the VMAs are... It's just a disaster. Like, oh, MTV, it was world class. MTV's I'm so like excited a, about all this. MTV's a disaster. <laughs> I want you to see... I, you have to see Cardi B's tit falling out. Should yeah. we wait? I mean, we got to do that tomorrow. <sighs> You're not here tomorrow. God damn it. Can we wait till Thursday? You want to pause it on the third? We can come back to the VMAs on Thursday. Let's watch Cardi B's and then we'll. And then we'll all right. Why well, is watch. that Cardi B? Yeah, that's the pre-show. But someone said there's a video where her asshole's hanging out. Let's, well, take, let's, the, see. let's take the call because they'll tell us what to look up. Austin, Austin in California. How you doing today, Jay? What's up, brother? Crackle, crackle. You're on the bonfire, my crackle, friend. Crackle. Now, hey, Cardi. Hey, everybody. I want to show. Uh, I want Christine to bring up the video of Cardi B's somehow not, not nipple falling out. And then uh, and then you said there's a video of her asshole? Yes. And when you see that video, you will understand why you don't see her nipple with the dress down that low. They're damn near on the bottom. Really? Right, l- wait, wait, Lou, too, knows something. Hang on. Lou. Black Lou, I what's mean, up? He's, he's correct, but she was a stripper before. This is yeah, not yeah. anything that's any, like... It's yeah. not a big deal. Yeah. It's like Black China doing the same thing. We, we've watched this video before, yeah. Jay. I still want to see her asshole. That's her? Oh, you're right. I have seen this, and you're right. That is where... Look where her nipples are. That makes sense. Isn't that crazy? At one point, you could be like, "It's like, is that girl at the MTV Awards? He goes, oh, yeah. He goes, yeah, she licked whipped cream off my dick at my bachelor party. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, oh, my God, look at her. She looks like an old movie star. Yeah, I remember uh, we did Blow. I do remember. Then... Yeah, I do remember seeing this. Because she's the girl that uh, Isabella used to watch on Instagram, and she said, like, uh, you ain't friends with my teeth, with my old teeth. I remember that. Yeah, that's that girl. But do the thing with the titty, and then we'll and we'll save the rest for uh, Thursday. But we got to come back to it Thursday, Dan. You got to promise me because I got there's more heat here, buddy. <laughs> there's more coming in. Pete Davidson being stunned I by the behavior it. of uh, what's her face? What Tiffany, Haddish. Tiffany Haddish. I saw that. What do you mean? Uh, well, Rod, I just didn't know what to, when I have that cute. Rod Stewart. You got that queued up? Look, uh, yeah. Let's Rod, watch her titty and then. Rod Stewart fucking trying to dance and keep up with a remake of his song. Uh, do you think I'm sexy? And they just wheel this old man out to try to do dance moves. Who Wait, are Rod you? Stewart has to go to this. Fat Kesha. Tiana Taylor and Pete Wentz, <laughs> Little Yachty Can't Read, Dudes in Heels. Can you There's ma- so much more. My dad doesn't want to leave the house after eight. Can you imagine that this is your life? <laughs> like Rod Stewart's like, a guy has to go to the VMAs uh, and look like he enjoyed himself. I don't want to do Dude, that. he tries to do a dance move. <laughs> I almost died in 1978. Dude, his dance moves will make you upset when like, you watch him try to dance. Isn't he gay now? Isn't he out? Rod Stewart? What? Gay. No. No, I'm thinking of another old... Well, who was the guy that came out that was a... Not Rod Stewart. Not Rod Stewart. Stewart's Stewart. smashing. Rock play. Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, I tell you, the best thing of the MTV Awards, Miley Cyrus' performance, hands down. She's good. With the her voice, yeah, she sings live, it's amazing. Yeah, this is it. There it is. Yeah. Turn this up. What? There's no volume. So, Tiffany, you're uh, you're having quite a summer. Yeah, and <laughs> I just want to say to all the kids in foster care, if I can make it here... So can you? What? Yes. Wow. That's that's really nice. Um, you know, I really respect your whole positive vibe. Yeah, I just think it's important to be a role model. Damn it, mother. For the Fuck. kids who look up to me, and also I want to show all my stupid as hell exes that I'm out here killing the game. I told you I was gonna do it. You didn't believe me. Now look at you sitting in trouble. watching me looking <laughs> good. Then a mother. It's all I don't know. Right, Pete? I'm positive as hell, right? If you weren't sure Pete yeah, was white, uh, now you're sure. Yeah. The nominees are. Oh. <laughs> Pete goes, oh. no idea what to do there. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> oh, right, wow. Oh, oh how Tiffany, how what are you doing? Oh, oh, well. Easy yeah. Easy and now I just got to find the Cardi B tit thing. You could see Pete just sitting there being like, during the orphanage. I thought like, I had 9-11, like wanting to yell 9-11. Like. Uh, oh, well. No, at the MTV Awards, Cardi B uh, presenting her titty falls out. There, you, you could just see this flat out. You could find that on YouTube easy. 
Does her titty actually come out? Uh, it, uh, it should be. <laughs> Her titty should be out, but yeah. somehow it's not. It's, it's like a big titty. It's, like, it's like a kid waiting for his dad after a baseball practice. He should be here. And she tries. <laughs> by the way, she tries to give us a message. She makes a Colin Kaepernick message. By the way, who does? Oh, I heard about this. Cardi B. Cardi yeah. B. I swear to you, she goes. She goes. And just so you know, she goes. Colin Kaepernick, if you gonna keep kneeling down, we gonna keep standing next to you, baby boo. I used I to, to kneel you. down in the club, <laughs> but that. Was extra, dude. Where do you see where her? It's an, it's insane. Her titty doesn't come out. I was just gonna. Oh, this is great. Oh yeah, she presents Demi Lovato. This episode does have a nice circle to it with Little Kim, the original. Right, titty, titty out. Yeah, we like to, to go the new titty out. This is, uh, Let me just tell you this, baby. Cardi B suffers oh. a wardrobe malfunction on stage at the MTV Video Music Awards. Uh. Hi, I'm Dan Soder. I've given up on life, and now I host Entertainment Tonight. It was a big night for rapper Cardi B, who served up some serious fashion. A white jumpsuit with a cape on the red carpet, a sparkly one-piece for her pre-show performance, and this gown during the awards that was so low-cut, it nearly made a uh, money move. Come on. The blush pink ensemble caught uh, everyone's attention as soon as she I mean, where is her nipple at? I want to come back and actually see the clip. Yeah. Because this girl's goofy ass commentary. Oh, things. you gotta hear her actual the stuff she's look at her, she has to hold it. Cardi B has Demi the Bible. So Thursday, Dan, I have uh, your word? Yes. Promise me? Promise, dude. Alright, Jared Free, thank you so much for hanging out with us, buddy. Yo, this is a pleasure. It was great to be here. Thanks oh yeah, I know. We're live Thursday. It's a live show, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. God damn right. First live show, first live Thursday in the history no, of the uh years. no motherfucking uh, lost tapes. Well, week. but next week's lost tapes is we're already making it, and it's a good one. It's gonna be. It's a good one. Jared Free coming in and hanging out. Thanks for Jared Free. Check out his podcast, the J Train Podcast, every Tuesday and Friday. We're seeing if you go down on the plugs. Thank you. Uh, follow at J Train Fifty Six on Twitter, and of course, Big J Okerson gonna be at uh, House of Comedy in Minneapolis, Minnesota, September seventh through September 9th. Go get tickets at BigJComedy.com. Uh, Dan Soder's new half hour special. Uh, as part of the stand-ups is available now on Netflix and Cleveland Campers this weekend. you got to head out to the Accidental Comedy Festival uh, September 1st and 2nd. That's Friday and Saturday. To see Dan, get your tickets at AccidentalComedy.com and also St. Louis Campers. Make sure you catch b Flats one-woman show at the St. Louis Funny Bone Sunday, September 10th at 7 p.m. Did she give us her uh, Twitter, Christine? It's at Flat Out Funny, all P-H. Flat Out Funny, P-H L-A-T, out P H U N N Y at flat out funny. That's difficult. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Uh, Dan's not going to be here tomorrow, but we're going to have some fun. Yeah, I guess I'm going to be back on Thursday. I'm going to hold it down, and then Thursday, do we live first live show? We oh, do yeah. deep. You got it. Deal. Love you, Danny. Love you more. Love you, gang. Love everybody. Crackle, crackle. <laughs> <laughs>